And my stream fucked though. Why is it showing red? What the hell? This might not be my day. This might not be my day. Might not be my day, bro. Let me see. All right. Okay, all right. What's good, y'all? What's good, y'all? What's good? What's good? What's good? Not in the best of moods, you know what I mean? But it is what it is, bro. I ain't too much tripping off of it. I am extremely agitated and annoyed today. I definitely am. I can get, I can get into it if y'all want me to get into it. Y'all not going to care. I'm going to let you know that right now. You're not going to care. It's, it's a personal issue, you know what I mean? You know, when, when, you, when you say something, they'll be like, it's not like a personal problem. Like, it's a personal problem, definitely. But it got my mood fucked up. I ain't had to deal with this shit all fucking weekend. Hold on, let me see. I can get into it. It ain't no real major thing, but it's, irri it's irritating enough to bother me. It definitely is. Get into it? Y'all want me to get into it? All right, so... It's, it's all dealing with my bank, bro. It's all dealing with my bank, bro. It's all dealing with my bank. Let me tell y'all what happened with my bank situation, right? All right, cool. I'm about to play Guilt, by the way. I, I already played the game before I streamed it before, but guess what? I want to play it again. I bought it on PlayStation to support the game because I liked it. I'm playing it again, all right? So if you don't like it, only thing I can tell you, you can go fuck yourself, all right? Cool. Well, let me just get into this story real quick, man. I'm going to try to make a short, a long story short. All right. So, um... It just boiled down to this. I saw I saw a charge on my credit card because I get notifications whenever my some money come out of my account. I saw a charge that I didn't recognize. Now I'm not saying the charge was fraudulent because I have been making you know I make I make tiny purchases right. I might buy something that's ten dollars, fifteen dollars, twenty dollars. I didn't make random purchases throughout the month right. I didn't notice the charge because I didn't notice the amount. If it would have said a, 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 an amount that I had spent recently, I'd be like, all right, cool. But they said like six ninety eight or some shit. So I just mentioned, right? I just mentioned, I, I type a little message. I'm like, I don't really recognize this charge, right? Um, Mind you, this is coming off of me dealing with them last week about my fucking debit card not working. They sent me a new debit card and it wouldn't fucking, I, I, I activated it through the phone and it wouldn't fucking work. And I'm talking, they sending me to different departments. Don't nobody know what's going on. The shit just not working. Uh, I, I, I reset my fucking pin number, which was already the pin number that I set originally when I reactivate. Anyway, it ended up working. It. it ended up working. It ended up working, but they had already pissed me off. So anyway, they call me, they call me the next day after I send them this message and they say, um, well, if you don't, if you don't notice the charge, that means that your account has been compromised. And the only thing we can do is completely shut down your account and start a new one right the young john has just donated four dollars and 99 cents through super chat are we live soon about psvr2 via maybe 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 so they were like the only thing we could do if you don't recognize this 698 charge is completely close down your account and start a new one right so i'm like even if it was fraudulent, I'm not closing down my account for no fucking seven dollar charge. You know what I mean? I'm not closing down my account for no fucking seven dollar charge. I'm, so I'm like, all right. I was like, I ain't gonna do nothing. I'm like, let it. I, matter of fact, this is exactly what I said. I said I'm gonna let it rock. I said I'm gonna let it rock. And if something else come out that I don't recognize, then I do something. But don't do nothing to my account. That's what I told the lady. She was like, all right, all right. So she was like, all right, we'll call you back in a couple of days see what you want to do if you want to you know i'm like all right cool mind you that's all she said i did not know that that was gonna disable my fucking checking account bro so the next day i get an email from paypal like your payment didn't go through we disconnected you i'm like what the fuck going on so another charge from paypal tried to go through to my bank right mind you this charge was a legitimate charge i recognized it but 
it didn't go through to my bank because they dis they declined they're declining all transactions at this point right so then my paypal account is in the negative now right I'm like, all right, it just fucked off with PayPal. I can't reconnect and shit like that. Then I find out it ain't working with Cash App either. So I get back on the phone. I try to get back. This is what? I find this out Friday night. The bank can't do shit on Friday night because the people that handle uh, that type of shit ain't there until Monday morning. Ain't nobody at PayPal that can help me. So I, got, I waited all the way to fucking yesterday morning, bro. I called them. I'm like, yo. Didn't nobody tell me this shit was going to disable my account, bro. I'm like, yo, uh, take the transaction off my shit. I'm like, just take it off. Okay, cool. So then the bitch talking like shop. Do you know your number? Your number? Bitch, take the fucking transaction off my shit. I don't give a fuck if it was fraudulent. I didn't need to use my money. I got to pay my fucking credit card bills, bitch. I'm sorry, sir. Da, da, da. I'm like, all right. Any, you know, they always ask you any more questions. I said, I always try to get, I said, so is my account going to work properly after I get off the phone with you? Yes, give them a couple of minutes. Yeah, yeah. That was 10 a.m. Four hours past, my shit still ain't working. So I just called this bitch ass nigga. Now I'm, now I'm heated, right? Now I'm heated. This is like the fifth, sixth nigga I done talked to. Now I'm heated. I, I run down the whole shebang bang. I'm like, brother, just get my account working, brother. I'm like, I got too much money. I'm trying to pay my fucking bills. This bitch ass nigga sit on the phone with me for 42 minutes and then have a sick. He just sit up there every once in a while. He'll click the computer key. Is it working? Is it working? No, nigga, it's not working. You're not doing nothing. Then at the end, he said, just keep trying the rest of the day and see if it worked, right? So I said, and if that don't work, then what I'm going to do? This bitch ass nigga said, do you have another bank account you could pay your. What? If that's the case, why am I banking with you, you dumbass nigga? What the fuck is your purpose? I hung up in that whole ass nigga face. I hung up in that whole ass nigga face. What? Are you stupid? The fuck this look like? Why the fuck would I be on the phone with you if I had another account, you whole ass nigga? I said, brother, I got my shit set up the way I want it set up. You not to... Okay, how about this? My check, my savings account is still on PayPal. Technically, I could pay my shit through my savings account, but guess what? You're not supposed to pay your bills through a fucking savings account. You have a limited amount of transactions you can do through a savings account per month. You're not supposed to pay your fucking bills through a fucking savings account. I have my checking account on there for that shit, bro. You fucking stupid or something? Damn, that shit pissed me off, bro. And the only reason I do have, a matter of fact, the only reason I'm with this bank now is because my last bank got compromised. When when Yahoo Mail got hacked, when Yahoo Mail got hacked a few years ago, of course, my banking account information is in my email. So when my email got hacked, my bank got hacked. And they stole like $2,400 from me. I know some of y'all remember that. They stole $2,400 from me in three minutes. Didn't no fraud alert come up, nothing. They stole 20, 24. They stole $2,400 from me in three minutes. They did eight $300 transactions, back to back to back to back. And they tried to do a few more, but they ain't go through. I had finally woke up and seen the shit. So that's the only reason I left Chime Bank. I went to this bank and I had no problems with this bank. You know what I mean? It's beautiful, bro. The, the interest rates, it's beautiful. I like the app. I like the interface. I had no fucking problems with this bank until like last week. Now I, I can't stand this fucking bank, dog. I would do anything to be able to. And then I do actually have a local bank that I recently joined. The only reason I joined this local bank is because the bank I'm with now, they can't do cash deposits and I needed to deposit some cash. So I do technically have another bank, but I don't like that bank completely. I don't like that bank completed. Uh, the interest rates ain't hitting on shit. I think they do got like a a savings account I can get with like some better interest rates, but I'm gonna have to talk to the lady that worked there, man. So this is what I'm thinking, right? 
I kind of want to just, yeah, I want to lead this bank. I really do. Just vanished one day. No one knows why. The only thing that's, that's, that, that I'm hesitant about is that the bank that I don't fuck with, they still got better perks than the bank I'm trying to move to. You see what I'm saying? Like, I could do more transactions at my savings Most account per month. After a few weeks. Or, or say, for instance, with my bank, bro, that I got now. Looking. If I want to take a thousand dollars out my savings account right now, I could do that, right? I could do that. That other bank, I can't do that. The most I could take out is two hundred and fifty dollars per week. You see what I'm saying? The most I could transfer is like five hundred dollars per week, and it's a limit to it. This other I bank, it ain't really got no limits, but they. Have to. The problem is everybody that worked there is fucking stupid. Don't hey, nobody hey, never know Sally. what's going on, bro. That's the problem. That's the problem, bro. Don't nobody never know what the issue is. I can't, I can't operate like this. I can't operate like this, bro. Like, like on my debit card, I couldn't activate my debit card. They sent me to the fucking fraud prevention department. I'm like, how is it fraud prevention? I ain't even make no, no transactions on this motherfucker. Oh yeah, my fucking my 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 phone bill was trying to come out the fucking account. It didn't go through. That's how I knew it was really fucked off too. I ended up paying my phone bill with a fucking credit card. Then I looked today and they're saying it took the phone bill out after they fucking reactivated, bro. So I don't know if I done paid my phone bill twice. It's 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 such bullshit, bro. I, it's always fuckery with me, dog. For real. Yeah, it's a two hundred fifty dollar limit. I went up there acting a fool about that shit, cause I'm like, yo, when I made this account, you didn't tell me about this shit, bro. Like, what? So the workaround with this new bank that I just got, the local joint, it do got Zelle, right? So I had to make two different Zelle accounts. I had to make a Jack Move Zelle account on one bank, and then if you got two different banks, you can't have the same Zelle account on both banks. You see what I'm saying? So I had to make a Zelle account on this bank. Then I had to create an email and make another Zelle account to send myself money. That's how I got to transfer money. And it's still a limit on that. So that's how I finesse that situation. I had, to, I can skate. As a matter of fact, yeah, it's 250 on the bank, but it's 500 on the Zelle, right? But Zelle got a rule. You can only transfer $500 at all for a week. So technically I can transfer 750 a week. At the most. You know how long it's going to take me to transfer my money if I did that, bro? <laughs> like, come on, man. What? That shit is crazy, bro. You can't hide from us. The cable car. I should be able to. It's a long way back home. The station's not too far. Take the cable car. I never seen this game on the TV. Well, did I play... I ain't play Stadia off the TV. That's true. I never seen this game on the TV before. But yeah, bro, they 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 doing me so dirty, bro. Don't nobody never know what's going on, bro. Really, I think I got everything fixed. I just need to get my bank account back on my PayPal account because I have two credit. I have two separate credit cards through two separate types of fucking PayPal, bro. I got a I got a business credit card through PayPal. Then I got a debit business Mastercard through PayPal, right? Now I think the business Mastercard through PayPal. I just set up a well, the automatic payment was already set up. I just put in to pay it right now. I use to pay it later. I'm gonna try to pay that, and then if it go through, then that's good. It's it's connected, right? I ain't tripping off that. And then I just did some shit with my Discover card to see if that go through. And if that go through, it's good. The only thing that's still fucked up, bro. Is the goddamn um and you know what else? I'm not gonna even blame them about that cash app shit. That cash app shit was on me. You know why? Because I told y'all I just got a new card because it was fucked off, right? The card it wasn't linked to my even though I don't know, but my bank account route number is on there, but I guess it was linked to my bank card. That's not active no more. The shit is expired. I ain't even realized shit. I'm thinking it's, it's, it's linked to my fucking route number, but it's not. So that's on me. I just didn't change the fucking card out because I had a situation with that that I told y'all about already. It is so much fuckery going on, bro. I, I hate it. Can't 
King Quizo has just donated $2 through Super Chat. Let me buy you Kingdom Hearts 3 for your troubles. I'm good, brother. Then what else happened, bro? So, um, damn. Uh, what was, what's the last thing I said, y'all? The cash out won't work. I'm pretty sure no one uses this path anymore. What the fuck else was I saying? I don't know. I don't know. This shit just fucked off, bro. This shit is fucked off, bro. I might need this. But yeah, this is guilt, man. If you ain't never played guilt, man, I streamed this whole game already. It's still on the channel. This was a Google Stadia exclusive, man, made by Tango. Not Tango Game Works. Tequila Works. This was made by Tequila Works, man. And uh, this this is about a little girl, man. Uh, her sister went missing. She been missing for a month. I'm looking for her. You know, you suffer from asthma or whatnot. It's like a little, it's like a little stealth horror game, puzzle joint. It's a dope ass game, and I play. I stream the whole game on through Google Stadia, man. I wanted to play this game so bad, I subscribed to fucking Google Stadia. And I was always saying, I hope, I hope it comes to platforms. You know what I mean? And Google Stadia went under, but they ended up, uh, what's it called it? What I about to say, bro? Those people in town work at the factory. Um. Damn, what the fuck? How do I keep forgetting shit, bro? My mind all over the place, bro. Uh, I don't the fucking know. Cable car connects Bethelwood with the factory. I don't fucking know, bro. My life is a goddamn disaster, bro. Most of the factory workers take the cable car to work. My life is a goddamn disaster. The newspaper doesn't say anything about Emily's disappearance. Now this is a good game though. This is a dope game. Dope ass game. Little indie joint, man. I bought this game as soon as it came to PlayStation, but uh, I never played the PlayStation version. <laughs> of course. Not. Are you lost? Can you help me, please? I need to take the cable car home. It's late. You're lucky I'm still here. I'll send you down. Just grab a ticket. Why can't you just let me in? It's important, little girl. You can't ride without a ticket. <sighs> okay, okay. Yeah, man, it's, it's so irritating, bro. You know what else I don't like about that local bank I got? It's like First Horizon. It used to be First Tennessee Bank, but they changed name to First Horizon. Um, it's just slow, bro. Next like, time make it like actual Thank banks are slow, I bro. Like... Thank you. W o n t o n s o u p two has just donated nine dollars and ninety nine cents through Super Chat. I appreciate that one time. Like regular banks, where well, the ones I know about, they slow, bro. Like if I if I like I just sent myself some money. Okay, perfect example. I sent myself some money. From my fucked off bank to my local bank, right? I did that like two days ago. It's still not in there, right? But on the opposite end, if I send some money from my local bank to the bank I don't fuck with, it's there instantly. You see what I'm saying? That's why it's like, it's like either I'm gonna fuck myself over with like time restraints, limit restraints, or I can have a shit like damn near instantly or it don't take as long, but everybody that worked there is a fucking idiot. So it's like, which which one, yo? It's so annoying, bro. It, it is it's truly, it's like they got you by the balls because then you can't do shit without a fucking bank. You see what I'm saying? What the fuck you gonna do without a bank? Nothing. You ass that. If you ain't got no fucking bank, bro. Then part of me, like, maybe I should split my fucking funds up. Maybe I should send half the money to the other joint. Then just in case some fuckery like this happen again. But then, like, nah, man. Like, I don't know, That's bro. Weird. There was a ticket just sitting there. I don't know, bro. Whatever. I guess it's free. I kind of wish I still had that fucking chime bank. And as a matter of fact, I was going to use the chime bank again. When I needed to do a cash deposit, cause I think you could like do cash deposits on Chime, but that motherfucker was closed permanently. I ain't even remember it was closed permanently. I was trying to open that bitch back up. 
It's like I know how to navigate that charm shit now. I just gotta keep my shit locked. I keep my cars locked anyway, but I, I just gotta keep my shit locked because that's they be getting hacked and shit. But uh, yeah, yeah man. I hope so. I might need. I mean, I might need to go back to charm, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I might need to go back to charm, man. Jumpman twenty thousand seven hundred seventy two cheered. X one thousand. My word, whack move. It's almost as if you have been cursed. I wonder what could have caused this misfortune. Anyway, take my money. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. But I don't know, bro. Like, I shouldn't have even said nothing about the charge, bro. Because like I said, I've been doing like many transactions. It's just that that amount didn't didn't bounce back. Like, damn, okay, that looked familiar. As a matter of fact, it said it was from PayPal. I'm like, what the fuck is that? I didn't notice nothing about it. So I went to PayPal and it was no transaction with that amount on there at all. I'm like, yo, where the fuck did this come from? Like, you know what I mean? Even if it would have showed up on PayPal, even if, even though I didn't know what the fuck it was, I would have been like, okay, well, it's right here. I guess I must have bought something. I don't fucking know. Cause sometimes I'll be seeing random fucking charges. I don't be knowing where they from. But if it say it's like from somewhere in Memphis, I'm like, all right, did I, was I there that day? Was I, oh, that might be from like the casino or so. I don't be fucking knowing, bro. But I hadn't bought nothing of that amount, especially from, it was like, what was it? I don't fucking know, bro. I'm like, yo, what the, what the fuck is this shit, bro? But even still, bro, the way, the way, the way fucking, um, the way that bank worked, nigga, if somebody did steal some money from me, I wouldn't even debate it. Cause if you do, you better debate that motherfucker at the beginning of the month and hope they got a, a a solution before it's time to pay your goddamn bills. Shit. Fuck. But after all that, bro, the worst case scenario, if I can't get this shit fixed the way I needed to, I, I technically could pay my fucking credit card bill through my savings account. I don't want to do that. Locked. I mean, I, need to find another way I just don't want to do this shit because that ain't what a savings account is for. But I mean, I, I could. It ain't no understand. thing. It just, it's irritating at the end of the day. Ali Almoraisi has just donated $4.99 through Super Chat. What up, Jack? What's good, brother? How y'all doing, Chad? I ain't mean to. I ain't mean to. I ain't mean to put my problems on y'all, man. It's just sometimes, bro, I be dealing with shit. A lot of time when I don't stream too, I be in a fucked up mood because I'm dealing with shit. I be dealing with random stupid shit, though. I don't even be dealing with no, like, you know what I mean? But it is real. Like, you know, this is a nigga livelihood What's we talking about. What's going on here? Let's get back. The fuck? I don't know if y'all heard it, but I ain't got no late, like, when I look at my credit report, bro, it show how many late payments you got, all that type shit. The moment I get a blemish on my credit report because of some shit that wasn't my fault, I'm going to be fucking livid, bro. Because you can't never get that off, bro. It's always going to show you had one missed payment, bro. That shit is going... I'm really going to crash the fuck out, bro. I'm going to crash out. I don't like that shit. You can't put no blemish on me and I ain't earn that, bro. That almost happened to be one of my joints, cause uh, I forget what happened. I tried to pay one of my shits, it didn't, it didn't work properly. I hit them up though, like, yeah, y'all shit fucked off. They're like, yeah, you right, we got you, brother. I don't want no blemishes on my record, bro, and I ain't earned that, bro. At least let me earn the fuck shit, you know what I mean? But yeah, bro, I, I just don't. I'm getting mad just thinking no about this shit. It ain't even nothing to be Did mad about. Just leave or what? You know the worst feeling in the world, though? It's like a helpless feeling, bro, when you need assistance and nobody's trying to fucking help you. That is the worst feeling on earth, bro. Was there an earthquake? Or, or people are yeah, trying to help you, but they don't know what the fuck they're doing. That is the worst fucking feeling, bro. And you trying to talk to them without being condescending or rude, but it's like... You gonna bring that out of me, bro. You gonna bring that out of me because you act stupid.
Like the oh matter of fact, I talked to this black chick today. This is like the second person I talked to today. She was like, she like was it was it a fraudulent charge? And then I'm like, yeah, that's what they were saying. She was like, oh yeah, your account probably closed. And I'm like, hold on, bitch, don't tell me that. After they told me they didn't close my shit, then she checks she like, no, nah, it ain't closed. I'm like, okay. Then I was talking to her, the fucking phone disconnect. She probably hung up in my fucking face. Then the second motherfucker I'm talking to, dude was like, oh yeah, I, I see your debit card. That joint, that joint closed, your debit card. I'm like, well, how the fuck my debit card closed, bro? They just told me it was open. And then I said, the one end and then such and such. He like, oh no, that one open. Like my nigga, do you, <coughs> are you good, my guy? Like, are you stupid by any chance? The fuck, you see it's open right there, but you saying, oh, that one, like get the fuck out of here with this shit, bro. Is that Emily? All this time, was she hiding at school? I just, I just, I wasn't even a victim of fraud, I bro. I understand. Only thing I said was, bro, I don't recognize this fucking charge, bro. That's all I said. Do it it as you will. Anytime else I've been on like PayPal or credit card, if I buy something and, or like sometimes you'll buy something online and it don't go through, like I didn't bought uh, microtransactions on PSN, it take your money, but it don't go through, shit like that. I'd be like, you know what I mean? I'm disputing the shit. And either they gonna investigate and you in the right, investigate and think you in the wrong. Here's or they just go, you know what I mean? But I ain't never had a situation where, like, if you if you debate something on PayPal, bro, they don't fucking disable your whole account, my nigga. And they definitely don't threaten to close that motherfucker. Like, where they do that at? That's what I'm saying, bro. This bank I got now, bro, a nigga could steal something from me. I probably ain't gonna even say nothing. Like, you got it, partner. Oh, shit, how much was it? Okay, cool. I'm just gonna have to take that on the chin, my nigga. I can't argue it. If I argue, it's gonna put me in financial ruin, my nigga. Like, damn. I ain't gonna be able to pay my bills for a fucking month and a half if I argue the shit. I'm gonna have to let the nigga get away with the shit. The fuck? They about crazy as fuck over there, bro. Matter of fact, Chime, when the nigga stole the fucking egregious amount from me from Chime, they didn't close my account and they didn't suspend my account either. And they gave me my fucking money back. <laughs> like, what? Bro, they tried to close my account over a $6.98 question, bro. <laughs> a nigga stole 2400 and they didn't do shit. <laughs> Matter of fact, the nigga stole 2400 He tried to buy some coffee after that. They were still trying to let the shit go through. Nigga chimed and lost. I mean, this, this other bank that lost their fucking mind, my nigga. <laughs> nigga stole down their three bands. They were like, cool, fuck it. Keep it going. Nigga say he don't recognize six dollars missing. They like, hold on, you shut this bitch down, nigga. Yeah, we gotta shut this old bitch down, bro. I'm sorry. Like, nigga, it's six fucking dollars, my nigga. Damn, I ain't tripping that bad. Shit. Great podcast. I think I enjoyed it. Hey, man, appreciate you, brother. It should open this school's main door. Nah, it's not Wells Fargo Bank of America, nah. The bank, I bank with Ally, Ally Bank. It was cool, I would have recommended it to anybody before this shit these past two weeks, my nigga, like, now stay away from that shit, them niggas bugging. Them niggas are bugging. They are tripping, bro. You know what's crazy? I pro I could have opened up a bank account with my credit card, but I don't really know how that shit work. I ain't, I ain't never tried it. Yeah, my credit card do offer like a, a banking situation. But I'm not too familiar how that it would even like... That don't even sound right to me. Like you got a credit card and a bank with the same shit. Like, oh, that don't sound right to me. I wouldn't even know the logistics of that shit. You could bank with fucking Cash App if you wanted to. I wouldn't recommend it, but you could. They gotta bank their damn self. Is brother gonna turn around? Like, what the fuck? I hate stealth games. I swear I do. Credit unions are better. The only reason I ain't go to a credit union, bro, because every credit union I looked up in my area, they had some... Really, I was trying to get a savings account. Cause I'm like, a lot of places they check in accounts cost money to keep active. So 
I'm on some shit to where like <clears throat> I can pretty much do what I want to do with a savings account with what I was trying to do. Mining canary is a weird but uh I just wanted an account to where if you got it open, it don't cost no money to maintain it. Which my dumb ass opened up a savings account that it, it does if you don't have like $250 in it at all times, it do cost like five dollars a month. On so now I just got two hundred fifty dollars on the savings account. I can't never touch because I don't want them to charge me every month for the shit. I need to close my other savings account, bro. I don't even need that motherfucker. Like, then the the the, the interest rate on that bitch is terrible, nigga. The so I don't even need that savings account no more. Can I flash my flashlight on this thing, or am I bugging? Can I? There's something I could do with this. I'm I'm kinda kinda remembering. Emily? But then my other bank was telling me they do got a better savers account, but the thing about that savers account is you have to keep at least five thousand in it per month. Like if you don't have five thousand dollars in your account at all times, it's gonna charge you like a crazy fee type shit. I really ain't fucked up about it, but I just don't like the fact that they limiting me. Like, you know what I mean? You gotta keep 5,000. Like, the fuck you telling me what I gotta keep in my shit, bro? We see you. I don't know. I don't really like, I don't like, see, that's what, that's what attract me to certain banks, how many restrictions it got on their shit. Am I not supposed to be doing this? I forgot how to play this game. There's some shit right there. Okay, that's a push or something. Definitely forgot to play this game, chat. We gonna come back in here though. Chase is reliable. Is it? The reason I went with my local bank too is because it's it's very um it's a lot of branches. Like it's a lot of branches in Memphis. Why like this town's if you come to Memphis, you're gonna see a lot of like history. of my bank type shit. So it's easy to get to. It's one up street that I can go to. It's like real accessible. So that's that's the main reason I chose the bank I got now. Nothing. I could have went to my mom's bank, which is up the street too, but her shit. She said they charge her like $30 a month to have a checking account. I'm not paying you to hold my money, my nigga. Like, hell no. Nah. Especially no fucking $30 a month. Are you crazy? Hey, fuck no. Bro, $30 a month to have an account is fucking crazy. Especially when there's banks that do that shit for free. <laughs> there's no account maintenance charges. Why the fuck would I go to that bank? No benefit. What? What am I supposed to be doing? Can I? Oh! Bitch ass man. Oh, they can see the flashlight. I ain't peep. Oh, I wonder how he saw me. He can't get in here. Show the weak ass. Some shit right there. I'm not gonna stream this entire game. I'm probably gonna play this in my. Everything looks different. In my, in my um, in my leisure time. I can't do that because the I gotta turn this fucking steam off. Navy Federal. I heard Navy Federal be fucking people over recently. Is that true? That man said smack a loser, that's crazy. That good, I'm on the face. I turn this off. You feel me? I gotta turn this off. There you go. What am I missing? It's crazy how you can play a game and forget like why not just in here? What the fuck? Can I do I guess I could just take it over here without? This can't be right. 
How do I turn it off? Pipe lead to. Oh, it's up there. I see. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's crazy how you can play a game and then, like, replay it and don't know what the hell you're doing. I beat this joint in, like, what, two streams last time I played it? Something like that. What's the next game I'm going to stream fully? Uh, I don't know, brother. I don't know, dog. Play it by ear, you know. I want to stream this game fully if I ain't already beat it on screen before. But, uh, I don't know, my guy. We'll think about it. I was going to play Cookie Cutter today because that's a game I've never played. Indie game. But I didn't feel like being irritated today. Which I remember this game having some irritating parts too. You know the most irritating thing about this game? And the day she shows up again, all these monsters come with her. What does this all mean? Where was she? The most irritating thing about this game is that you cannot 100% this game and get the true ending unless you, uh, the only way you can get the true ending is if you 100% this game. How you do the inhaler? So, you actually got 100% this game to get the true ending. What game is this? The name of this game is Guilt. I should have probably put it in the title, but... If you want to see a full playthrough of this game, I do have a full playthrough of this game on the channel right now, on the YouTube channel right now, man. Just type in guilt, you will see it. Or gaming with Jack Mood guilt, like ticket fragment. Yeah, you got to collect all the ticket fragments. You got to, what it's the fuck is that? You got to get all the books and shit. I was missing mad shit when I beat this game. That's why I was like, bro, I'm not trying to replay this shit, bro. I can't even remember if you could free roam. It's another strange book. You might get free roam after you beat this shit. But yeah, you legit have to get everything. And I'm a, I'm a, it ain't no spoiler, but it, the, um, the regular, like, non true ending of this game. Where? What are they? The not, like, the, just the regular ending, the plane ain't ending on this game is very fucking depressing, okay? So you have to get the true ending if you want, like, you got to get 100% if you really want the, the good shit, bro. You was like, wow, that's that's the end. Okay, like. That's what they were cooking. Okay. The fuck? I guess I don't do nothing in here but hide. G400, what's good, brother? Rye Star, what's good, brothers? What's good to the brothers in the chat? Hope y'all enjoyed the podcast yesterday. I hope y'all enjoyed the uh, Weapon Wheel After Dark yesterday, man. We do it for y'all, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, that's who we do it for. I can't shut the door. Hit me. Hit me. Oh, I ran out of stamina. Oh, you see me. Fuck, oh, run, 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 Matter of fact, oh, 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 How you turn? Damn, bro, I didn't have killed myself, bro. <sighs> Damn. 
Hey, hustle. What's good, brother? I went this way already. I'm pretty sure I went this way already. Hindsight with Hustle has become a sponsor. Oops. Appreciate you, brother. Man, what the fuck? Oh, yeah. Another update, man. So, I moved the distributor for Jiggy Merch, man. Hopefully, hopefully that goes through soon, man. I'm still waiting for it to go through. I, I, I migrated the domain, which is a whole, that was a whole nother situation I was dealing with yesterday, man. Trying to switch a domain to fucking a new website, right? And it wouldn't work because I, I don't host the DNS. See, this is a, bro, I ain't never even tell y'all about the, so when you get a website, right? When you get a website, you need a thing called a SSL certificate, right? If you ever go on a website, you know how I got like a secure lock on it type shit to let you know it's like a legit website, everything groovy, everything good, it's protected. So I didn't know how to get no fucking SSL certificate when I first made JiggyMerch.com because every time I went to the site, it was a it was an unprotected site and I did not like that. I needed my shit to be protected. So I went to GoDaddy where I got the fucking domain from and you can purchase an SSL certificate, right? So, but it's like $120, 200 fucking something shit. I buy one, right? I buy one and I try to put it on my site and I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. It ain't working. All type of shit. This is like four fucking years ago, three years ago. Come to find out, bro. Come to find out, bro. Like, you don't even got to buy one, bro. I found out you can get them bitches for free. I'm like, hell no. Nah. Let me get my fucking 150 however much you want. I'm like, let me get my fucking money back, chief. So I end up refunding that, bro. Uh, finding like a free one. I found like a free one, Cloudfair, right? I don't know if y'all ever heard of Cloudfair, but they host DNS servers. They can protect your website for you. So I got one for fucking, I got one for free. But uh, when I hooked it up, when I hooked up the Cloudfair shit, it fucked off my, 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 my DNS server. Once you, once you hook up your DNS server through something different, you can't migrate your fucking you can't migrate your fucking domain anymore so i was stuck on that for like an hour or so trying to figure out how to migrate my fucking domain over i ain't up fixing it it's still not working though they say it take like they say it take like two days for the shit to actually go through so maybe in two days the jiggy merch website will work again it ain't nothing on the store right now um but this is what's dope about the new about the new website though right the new website not only can I get, cause you know, my old website, they make the shit for me, right? So if I'm selling a beanie on there, a shirt on there, a hoodie on there, they make it. I provide the designs, but they make it, they ship it out, they do everything, right? But on this new site, they do that too. But if I got some shit I want to sell on my own, I could do that. You know what I'm saying? So if I want to put the Jiggy Ski Mask on there, the, the do-rags on there, I could do that. You know what I'm saying? So it's dope like that. Black Metal Gamer has just donated $2 through Super Chat. You think gaming will be better or trash by 2030? 2030. I think it's going I think it's going to be it's going to be trash. It uh iterative trash. Am I saying that word right? It ain't getting no better, bro. It ain't getting no better just right. I think gaming going to be mainly streaming in 2030 probably. Jay has just donated $4.99 through Super Chat. What the fuck am I supposed It's crazy how your internet was always as when you try to stream every day, but now that you barely stream, it's perfect. Where was this two years ago? <laughs> you see that, right? You know what it was too, though, bro? I think it was really COVID, bro. During COVID, it was hard for me to stream because, you know, I live in apartments, bro. So everybody was at fucking home and everybody sharing the same fucking internet pool type shit. That's why you notice, bro, I don't like streaming late at night because more people are at home and shit. And my, my, my internet does tend to lag out when I'm streaming at nighttime. But yeah, during COVID, my internet was fucked, bro. I actually said I was gonna be, I, w I was gonna retire from streaming. I'm like, bro, I I ain't want to retire from stream. It was like on some wrestling shit. Like I'm probably going to be back type shit, but I got to retire, bro. Cause it's not working, bro. What? It's another strange book. Get lost. Oh yeah. Shit. Her sister was dealing with. I should no. be used to it by now. 
I'm dealing with bullies. The main character was dealing with bullies. I think a little sister might have been getting bullied too. I'm not sure. What the fuck? So this game got a couple of messages, you know what I mean? Stand up to your bullies type shit. Overcome your fears, you know what I mean? I wouldn't say this game is woke. But it do got a nice little message. Oh, fuck me. I hate, I... Can you have five off the bill of parlay? Shit, can you, brother? I don't know, you tell me. I don't know how I'm lost in this little ass circle, bro. You know what, this game does actually feature a map that I'm not using. I need to get them dudes over there where that, that shit is on the ground so I can shock them. Okay, I haven't went that way. It's a locked door. What this? What what does that circle mean? What is that? Quartz. I don't know what that what that means. What the fuck is? And there is no objective on the map. Maybe I should go back and get that quartz shit. I don't know. I don't even know what that is. No, oh, I'm Probably. sneaking. Uh, okay, that's the bodge room I ain't been in. Okay, we find a new shit, y'all. Huh. What's good, Mafia Quad? How you doing, brother? What site service is that? What do you mean, brother? Oh, you mean what site I'm using for Jiggy Merch? Is that what you mean? <clears throat> Some shit called Fourth Wall. That will be the new host of Jiggy Merch, Fourth Wall. Um, I'm excited to start my partnership with them. And uh, Oh, shit. You know what's crazy about their Fourth Wall shit, bro? They've been emailing me for like a year, bro. They've been emailing me for like a year to come fuck with them, bro. But I never did it. I'm ignoring the shit, right? I'm like, yeah, fuck this shit. You know what I mean? They emailing me like, we know y'all, you with the mother niggas. The shit ain't popping for real. Come fuck with us type shit. In so many words. I'm like, man, y'all get y'all nut ass out of here with that shit. But one of the homies, Blaze 4K, he keep telling me, Jack, you got to move to Jiggy Merch, Jack. I'm with this new shit, brother. She's popping, brother. Yeah, I mean, you know how Blades be doing, bro. Little Italian long nose bastard. I call him long nose, you know what I mean? No no rifle. But, um, he like, Jack, brother, you do new shit, brother. You getting me, me, baby. I'm like, huh? Fuck. You got Tourette's fam? Nice. So he linked me to shit. I, I'm looking, I'm like, wait a minute. Ain't this the shit old buddy been emailing me about all this time? So I go back and look at the, I'm like, oh, this the same shit, bro. What? I'm like, damn, I should have been fucking with them. That's crazy. They was right this whole time. So we're going to see how it work, bro. You know what I mean? Maybe, maybe y'all will like the new quality of the shirts and shit. Maybe I'll bring, be able to bring out some designs that, that the other spot took off, like the, the money, the Jack Move money bag logo. Y'all ever seen the Jack Move money bag logo, bro? I only sold this logo for a limited time, man, because they took it off, bro. Let me show you the Jack Moo money bag logo, bro. Only a few people got this on a shirt or anything, bro. Only a few people. I know John John the Don is one. You know what's crazy, bro? John John the Don is the only person. He has purchased every single thing I've ever released, bro. Except the fucking do rag. <laughs> Every other thing I've ever released, I'm talking about every fucking design, every, bro, literally every single thing, bro. This man has purchased at least something, bro. It's actually crazy, bro. I wouldn't even bought all this shit personally. I ain't gonna lie to you. The Jack Moo money bag logo? Ooh. What the fuck? Where'd it go? Oh, it's too big. Look at that. It's too big. Hold on. Shit. It too big. Damn, I gotta make this bit way smaller. What the fuck? It's got to be big like this for the quality when you put it on some sort of be nice quality. Am I making the picture smaller, bro? Bro, how big is this picture, bro? Hold on, let me just resize it like this. Oh, I could fit it to screen. Let me see. Let me fit this motherfucker to screen. Fit the screen. Bam. Bam. Woo! Y'all ever seen that Jack Moo Money logo, dog? The money bag with the PlayStation, with the platinum, come on. What we talking about? 
That was the Jack Moo logo. I was gonna make that the official Jack Moo logo. You know what I mean? Step in your trap, take over your trap. You see what I'm saying? That was on the merch for a minute. They got me the fuck out of here with the merch. They said, Jack Moo, you don't own them. You don't own that imagery, Jack Moo. I might be able to I might be able to start flipping that again, though. You know what I mean? Maybe I should just hide here and wait for help. Y'all ain't never seen the Jack Moo logo, right? Y'all ain't never seen that. A few people a few people got it. Everybody ain't get it though. A few people got it. my old flashlight I, I might got to bring that back embroidered like an embroidered hoodie with that maybe a little shirt situation stickers I did have stickers of that too bro I did it got taken down so fast though man and then you know what else bro my my old um the old distributor I was with man they started fucking up bad bro so they took down that logo, which I understand. I don't own a fucking, I don't own those, uh, that imagery, right? So I can understand that. But then they started taking down, because I had Blaze, me and Blaze merch was combined. I started selling Blaze merch for him, right? We would break it down the, the bag or whatever, bro. So they start taking down his logos for copyright infringement. They start taking down Jiggy logos for copyright infringement. All this shit is a, all this shit is original artwork that I commissioned, bro, right? So as a matter of fact, let me tell you how stupid these motherfuckers is, right? So, when I came out with the Jiggy Beanies, uh, my sisters, I got four sisters, but two of my sisters was like, let us, let us get the Jiggy Beanies. And they told me which ones they wanted, how they wanted them. I ordered them two Jiggy Beanies, right? Because you can order samples, you get them at a slightly discounted price. Because, I mean, it's your merch at the end of the day. You get them for a slightly discount. So, I ordered them two Beanies, right? They, them two designs specifically, they took both of those down for copyright infringement. I, I I I I filed a dispute like I purchased these pictures uh, that I had it drawn original. Instead of arguing the dispute, they just sent, you know what they did? They resent me the exact same hats I had just ordered. So instead of put reinstating the the the, the, the logo saying it's not original, they just resent me the same two hats. I'm like, yo, who the fuck is running this company, bro? You take down something that's original. I say, hey, this is original, and you just resend me the hats again. So I had two sets of fucking hats. You know what's crazy, right? So I kept one of the hats, and I gave away the other one, I think, to my sister. Bro, my mom has a fucking beanie, and I don't know where she got it from. I have absolutely no fucking clue where this lady got the fucking jiggy beanie from, bro. It's like the same one I got, though. I'm thinking she stole my shit. My mom don't even do shit like that. I'm like, where the fuck you get this hat from? I ain't give you that. Yes, you did. How the fuck I give you the hat? I ain't had a hat. So it's just, now it's just an extra bean. Like, bro, my mind is fucked right now, bro. It's so much bullshit be happening, bro. It worked. Mom's got a jiggy beanie. I have no fucking clue where she got it from, bro. <laughs> like, what is going on? How do I get up there? I wish you could like go into the TV. Wouldn't that be cool? It's clearly some up there. Hmm, that's interesting. That's the only way I can get out right here. Though. Go get the LLC Jiggy by Jack Moo. Well, I own, I own JiggyMerch.com. I do own that. Oh, when I bought that website, I bought that website for like thirty dollars, right? Estimated value of that website right now about about fourteen hundred. Now it's about fourteen hundred. You know what I mean? That's just a, that's just a few years of me working with it. You know what I mean? That that website get a lot of traffic. The website gets thousands of views a month, probably between five to seven thousand on a slow month. It gets up to like thirteen thousand uh, visits though. Now, I ain't gonna say I get 13,000 sales, but that site gets a lot of fucking traffic, though. So you can defeat the monsters. I don't remember that. But yeah, I, I get my stats at the end of the month. It gets a lot of fucking traffic. Now, I wish just a tenth of motherfuckers that visited the site would buy something. That would be... <laughs> You'll never hear me complain again, eh? Sweet. But yeah, I appreciate people going to the release jiggy thongs. We gonna see, bro. Possibilities are endless, my guy. Hey, 
Hit him. Oh, that's love right there. So, it's a lot room. I need to go back. Class 104. How do I get in that lot room? I need to turn around. What is this? Uh, oh, you know what I don't like? You can't walk with the map out. So if I go all the way, I need to go to the end of the hall. What this lead to? I'm finna try to go back and get some, some shit I ain't pick up. Oh, I can't get out of here. But yeah, man, I'm, I'm just chilling, bro. I'm just chilling, man, dealing with fuckery. You know how it go. You know how I go, dog. I need to go down. You know what fuck up my sleep schedule, bro? This is gonna sound crazy. You know what will fuck up my sleep schedule if I wake up to eat breakfast? Do that make sense to y'all? If I wake up to eat breakfast, it's gonna fuck up my, my, like my whole day type shit. Do, do, that make, do that make sense to y'all, bro? It's like, I usually wake up early anyway. I'm usually waking up before 10, 10 a.m. on a normal day anyway. I go to sleep. I don't go to sleep early all the time, but I be tired, bro. I, I go to sleep early a lot of times. But like, what's that? What's that? That's a a picture. I need to see what picture that is in the library. But like, if I get woken up out of my sleep to like eat breakfast or some shit like that, I'm going to go back to sleep. Like. I don't know, I feel like eating breakfast give me the itis, bro. Like, I gotta go to bed after that, bro. Friends playing. I don't really fuck with breakfast like that. One reason I don't fuck with breakfast, most of the breakfast foods are, are, are sweet by nature. I don't always feel like eating some sweet fucking food, bro, like... Everything related to breakfast is, you know, it's not a lot of savory fucking breakfast foods. You know what I mean? Even if you get like a, a chicken biscuit, you gonna put some fucking jelly on that motherfucker. Like, what we talking about? Ten cheered X five hundred. I stopped eating breakfast. Made me feel bloated, like wonton bloated. See, now that last part wasn't even wasn't even necessary. You know what I mean? I could have, I really could have gathered what you were saying without that last part. I'm gonna be honest, brother. But yeah, I don't like eating breakfast, bro. It's cool sometimes, you know what I mean? I like breakfast food, right? Like, I might fuck around and eat some pancakes at fucking 7 at night, but, like, actual breakfast, though, yeah, it make me sluggish for the rest of the day. Like, I don't be wanting to do shit, bro. If I eat breakfast, I'm going to want to take a nap. Then by the time I wake back up, I'm going to be groggy as shit. I'm like, man, I shouldn't eat that bullshit, bro. It's not the move, dog. Am I missing one? Is this outside? Is this where I'm supposed to be going? It is where I'm supposed to be going. So I need to turn around. Then we got some shit over yonder. The locked door, which I still can't get into, I don't think. It's locked from the other side. Then we got the class 102 shit. Oh, I see how I get in there, I think. Let me see. Watch well, that boy arm off. Let's go. I hate I have to keep pulling this fucking map up, yo. I need to go to class 102. It's dark as shit in here. How do you know what your battery is? Oh, it's on the side. Oh, it's actually on your character. You see that? You see how the battery is actually on the flashlight? That's fire. Am I missing one? I am missing one. Uh, 
Am I missing more? Fuck. I don't know what I'm supposed to do, yo. Y'all see another eyeball that I don't see? Do you see what I see? Ah. I don't see another eyeball, yo. What the fuck? I don't see another. Chad, help me out, Chad. What we doing? I don't see another eyeball. I can't pick we it up. I can't pick it up. Oh, maybe it's one over here. It was one over here. I thought about it. I probably never got this first time I played this. Never seen a rot like this anywhere else. It's beating a blood quartz. What the fuck you doing with this young lady? But yeah, what else going on, man? Oh, somebody asked me what I think about the PS5 Pro specs. Um, it is what it is, bro. Like I said, bro, I'm not against the pro, and I might even get one depending on the price and what it, what I see it do. But I just I just feel like we haven't really seen the PS5 being taken full advantage of. And J Main put out a tweet yesterday that I didn't even know. He said there's only three games. There's only three games on PlayStation 5 overall that can't do over 30 frames per second. And one of them I've never even fucking heard of. It's, some, it's like some bullshit. So. I've never, I haven't been in here yet. But yeah, it's only three games overall that cannot do more than 30 frames per second. So do we need a PS4, PS5 Pro? Or do these developers need to get some know-how about themselves? You tell me. Using up my battery like this is not optimal, bro. I feel like I did come here. What the hell? I, I guess I ain't unlocked the door. I can't unlock the door. What the fuck? So what's in here? Nothing? A drink? There's nothing in here for me. So I guess we... What is that, though? I feel like is that not a I feel like it's an opening to another fucking area right there. Let me see. My play this game on my portal, man. I feel like this would be a good game to play on the portal, dog. So this is this. At the end of the day, is I guess it's just nothing else right there. It's a lot of black space right there. What the fuck is all that shit? Can't even set old bunny on fire. Anywho, all right, we we going to the main objective. You getting a pro no matter what? Hey man, I ain't mad at you, brother. I'm going the wrong way, y'all. Damn it. But uh, I mean, I I might fuck with it. I don't know, man. I just feel like. So I asked yesterday on the podcast, I like, you know, what game do y'all feel like actually fully utilize the PS5? Somebody said Demon Souls, which that's a launch game. Now I'm gonna say this, if a launch game fully utilized the power of your console, they shouldn't have released that, they shouldn't have released that console at all, like, um, I got a few Final Fantasy 16s, which I mean, I guess, I don't know, I ain't play 16, but, uh, when you play 16, are you do you feel like, damn, this is a real next-gen situation? Like, is that how y'all feeling playing that shit? Emily? She's upstairs. But uh, how do I get up there? I heard Spider-Man 2, which is an absolute farce and a fucking joke, if you ask me. Like, if I play... If, if a nigga told me Spider-Man 2 was available on PS4, I would believe him. Like, I, it would be no reason for me not to believe him. Like... God of War, Ragnarok, and Horizon on PS4, like, but Spider-Man 2 not? I'm like, what? I guess. Oh, you wouldn't be able to uh, fly as fast on... Well, you fly pretty fucking fast on Marvel 2. I mean, I don't know, bro. I ain't no game developer, though. I don't, I don't know, dog. Yeah, little nightmares and I don't wake to have a love child. Huge. I hope it didn't see me. Yeah, this kind of like some little nightmares vibes, man. I can see that. 
I got Little Nightmares too. Uh, not T O O, but T W O. But I guess you could say T O O as well. I have Little Nightmares too as well. I've never played it, but I have. I bought the game like a fucking. I bought the game probably over a year ago, huh? No, 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 no. I think I bought it for Halloween last year. I ain't never played it. Oh. Oh, you could do instant takedowns. I didn't even know that. I'm bugging. I like that the battery life is on your person. I know y'all like when the UI is involved in the gameplay. You got to sneak up on him without the fucking flashlight on because they can see the flashlight. Let me do a stealth takedown. That's probably a trophy. How do you even get right there though? Like what the fuck? How do you get right there? I, gotta, I need to turn this shit off. I need to turn it off right there. I can't see bro. Hold on yo. I can't fucking see yo. I get old butt after paint five. Figure this out. How he getting over here? Is he getting over here? Uh. Ooh, in that ooh, in that monster hole. That's crazy. Is that what you call a alien's a uh, monster's asshole? Monster hole? Don't answer that, bro. Oh, baby, a triple. What is this game? This game is guilt, man. This game is guilt. All right, you gonna feel that if you don't play this game, okay? You gonna feel a, a great sense of guilt and uh, resentment towards Jack move because I'm experiencing such a fun, great game. This is an indie game by Tequila Works, you know what I mean? They made another game, bro. What was the other game Tequila Works made, bro? It had a little hype behind it. You like this little kid on an island type shit? Might need this. What the fuck was the name of that game, bro? I guess I ain't got the fuck with that at all. You was a little kid on an island. Uh, what the fuck? There's some more batteries in here. Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Where the fuck the batteries at? Rhyme. That's the name of it. Rhyme. Yes, sir. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, Rhyme. They made Rhyme. If y'all remember that. Where the fuck these batteries at? They all the way on the other end. Only thing I don't like about this game is that you got to constantly keep pulling up the map. That's like the worst thing about this game, to be honest. Sometimes you can get lost. But then again, when I got lost playing the game the first time, I don't think I really used the map like that. I was probably, I was probably going plain Jane, just trying to figure the shit out. But I was able to figure it out, so. But yeah, guilt, man. This was a Stadia exclusive, all right? I played this game on Stadia and I played Steam World Quest on Stadia. Hand of Gilgabak. Now, Steam World Quest is a special game too because um. <clears throat> I made it. Oh, Emily Stone's every side. other every no. other Steam World game except for the original one. Uh, the original Steam World game was Steam World Tower Defense, and that's only on like uh, DSI or some 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 Nintendo handheld. But every other Steam World game was on PlayStation. <clears throat> Came to PlayStation. Matter of fact, I want to say shit like Steam World Dig 1 and 2 was only on PlayStation for a minute. Yeah, I think they was only on, they launched exclusive, and Steam World Heist. I think they launched like exclusively on PlayStation type shit. They might have been on PC too, but as far as console, they was only on PlayStation. But Steam World Quest Hand to Gilgamesh is never coming to PlayStation. I've asked them numerous times. <clears throat> them and Shuhei Yoshida. 
climbing through the window, the monster won't see me. They actually, they actually did tell me. They said this game will never come to PlayStation. They said that. Why? I don't fucking know. <laughs> it's on PC. I think it's on Nintendo. It's on Nintendo. It's on PC. I don't know about Xbox. So I had to play that. I had to play that on. But the next Steam World game, they got a matter of fact. They just came out with a Steam World game. Uh, what is it called? Fuck. That's like the first one I really ain't kind of feeling. I don't know what it's about. It's like a ta It's like a, a, a Sim City joint, like a city builder. That's on PlayStation already. I think it's called Build or Builder or some shit. And they got another game called Headhunter. Pause. They got a game called Steam World Headhunter. That's coming out on PlayStation. <laughs> so why the fuck Quest didn't? That's what I'm trying to figure. I gotta go through this gate. Why the fuck Quest didn't? This is the first game since Rhyme? I don't know, is it? This game been out a minute though, man. This game like a couple of years old at this point. This is a different part of the school, is it not? Oh no, that's where it came from. Alright. I never went through the front door though. Just a side door. Can I go through the front door now? Is it something different? Let me check. I'm just checking to see if I'm missing any collectibles or or fun situations, guys. Don't mind me. Oh, this is not even the front of the school, this is the back of the school. Don't mind me. Alright, I gotta go this way. I'm fucking congested, yo. Hold on. Where do you think you're going? My golf. Wait a minute. Who are you? Aren't you forgetting something? I... Look, I need help. The school is full of monsters, and they... You must find Emily. She is the key to ending this nightmare. That makes no sense. Wait. How do you know her name? Do you know what's going on? We don't have time for chit-chat, little girl. Your cousin needs you now. But I'm trying to help her. I heard her on the second floor. You see that ladder? I was gonna climb up there. Good. Hey, wait! Can't you help me? I don't know what to do! My God. Don't leave! Oh, that's a cousin. I thought that was her sister. I might have thought that was her sister when I first played this joint, too. Disappeared right what? in front of me. That's her cousin? It's not the weirdest thing I've seen today, I guess. But he looked totally human. I don't know what to think. I don't really remember the... I forgot who that dude is. I mean, if I remembered, I wouldn't tell y'all no way. I mean, y'all probably want to play this for yourself. <laughs> but yeah, this is a dope little game, man. Nothing too crazy. You ain't gonna be fucking mind blown or no shit like that. You're not gonna be saying game of the year, but... I feel like it's a fun experience. It's worth a playthrough. A Google Stadia, man. Google Stadia was not a bad idea. It was just very poorly handled. Um, different. Oh, I better not get too close. I'm gonna give y'all an example. Did you know the way they promoted Google Stadia? You had to subscribe to it to play the games and all that. Did you know you did not? You could buy the games a la carte on Google Stadia, but they never explicitly said that. So. The, to the general consumer, you just had to subscribe and stay subscribed to play. It was like on some Game Pass shit, right? Which I guess people wasn't with at that time, but you could actually just buy the game and fucking play it. I never knew that until like they were damn near out of business. I'm like, what? Rip for real? I think that would have been more more appealing to people. But then again, it was some games where like they they would like on some shit like. You got to subscribe and then buy it type shit. I don't know. They just, the messenger was all fucked up. I think that was Phil Harrison involved in that the little bald head tall dude. This is crazy. He always going to a company and then that motherfucker die off. You know how it go, man. <coughs> God damn, I'm still congested, man. Mic off. Mic on. Fuck, yo. I guess I get like that when I stream because I be talking a lot and normally I'm I'm just chilling so I ain't really talking at all unless I'm talking to myself which that's I mean people talk to themselves I don't, I don't just be having full conversations with myself though you know what I mean but when I get to talking and shit I start getting congested bro I hate that shit
get the gungus going on, man. Y'all know about that gungus, bro. Shout out to Mike Rich. Who, who all in here watch Mike Rich, bro? If y'all watch sneaker content on YouTube, Mike Rich. Or T Ward, your favorite homeboy. Who watched T Ward, man? I watch both them boys. Mike Rich, no hype, just kicks? Come on now. Y'all know the song. Did I go the wrong way? The niggas be broke trying to voice their pain. I definitely went the wrong way. This is where King I came Quizo from. Quizo has just Damn donated it. $2 through Super Chat. Is it possible to get you to try Sandland demo? It's not impossible. I mean, I don't really know what the gameplay is like. I didn't know old buddy that, well, I, I knew it after they said it, but when I first saw Sandland, I ain't know old buddy, uh, what was that, Toriyama? Dude that made Dragon Ball, they say he worked on that. Did he create Sandland too, or he just worked on it? I don't really know. You know Dragon Ball back in the day, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I got caught up in the Dragon Ball hype too. I ain't never tell y'all the stories, man. I ain't tell you the stories about like, like, when I went to school, bro, especially, like, elementary school, middle school, bro, anything I could do to not do schoolwork and focus on that wasn't schoolwork, bro, I'm fucking with it, right? So, God. when I'm in sixth grade, nigga get turned on a nigga selling Dragon Ball Z pictures. They did that at y'all school? Like, they'll print off pictures on the computer and sell them bitches at school and shit? I got it in that. I start, I start buying Dragon Ball Z pictures. I don't even fucking watch Dragon Ball Z at this point. I just like the way the characters look and shit. And I want to, I'm just, you know me, I'm trying to collect some shit. You know Jack move. I start buying Dragon Ball Z pictures at school and shit. So I'm like, fuck it. I need to print my own shit so I can stop having to spend money on them, bro. And then, like, trying to get to somewhere with a printer and shit. Like, we got a computer, but we ain't got a printer type shit. Nigga start. So, um... Or like a nigga ran off on me with some Dragon Ball Z pictures, bro. He's supposed to be telling me some fire fucking pictures, bro. He ain't do it. So I end up... I told y'all that story before. I end up... He had his his gym dress-out clothes, bro. This thing charges up when I shine the flash. He had like some Tommy Hilfiger dress-out... Uh, no, he was dressed out for gym. But he had his Tommy Hilfiger shit in the, um, in the gym. So I, I took his clothes and flushed them bitches down the toilet, bro. He tried to finesse me on some on some uh, Dragon Ball Z pictures, so I, I took his clothes and fuck him, flushed him down the toilet. He's like, bro, this shirt was sixty dollars, bro. What the fuck, man? This thing charges up. Snitched on me and shit, right? What am I doing? Snitched on me and shit. So um, yeah, that happened. Then I start I start going to like uh, University of Memphis, you know, the college. I start going to the University of Memphis with my sisters and uh, my sister. That's back when my sister boyfriend lived with us. But they all went to the University of Memphis. Two of my sisters, uh, her boyfriend, and my sister worked at the University of Memphis and shit. She worked at like the little student center shit. So I used to go there all the time. Sometimes when she was at work and shit, you know, it was, it was fly up there. They had like Chick Fil A and shit. This back when Chick Fil A was still popping. This is early two thousand, bro. They got a Chick-fil-A in that bitch, TVs and shit, stores and shit. It was weird. I ain't, you know, I'm on a college campus. I'm a little fucking kid. I'm like 12 years old, so. I'm cooling it up there, but we start going to the computer lab up there. And like up there, you can print as much shit as you want to. It really don't fucking matter. I think you had like an account. But anyway, I'm printing mad Dragon Ball Z pictures, bro. Selling them bitches at school, bro. So I'm getting, I'm getting all in on the fuckery, bro. I'm even like. By this time, I'm watching the show, though. I start watching the show. I'm fucking with the show. Only thing I don't like about the show. It's taking forever to get to the fucking point, bro. These niggas fighting freeze. I'm getting older day by day. I'm, I'm gonna be fucking dead by the time they fight. Of course, me, I like villains and shit, right? I'm on freeze to fuck these niggas up 10 ways from Sunday. Like, I want freeze to get, get nasty with these niggas. Like, whoop they fucking ass, thing. I'm all for the freeze of smoke, right? I'm like, bro, are they ever going to get to the fucking point, bro? God damn. So, I'm watching that shit. I I'm lost, y'all. I don't know how to get back to where I need to go. How the fuck do I get over there? I done got turned around. I can't fuck with this. Oh, maybe I can fuck with this. But yeah, I'm buying, I'm buying the tapes. This back when VHS tapes. Matter of fact, you know what else I used to do? 
I used to record Dragon Ball Z Toonami episodes on, on tape and shit just in case I mess them. I used to tape the episodes at school trying to catch up with the shit. I'm buying the VHS tapes. I'm going to the mall buying VHS tapes of Dragon Ball Z, bro, like the sale games and shit. I ain't never even watched the VHS tapes I bought because I never even got really got to the sale. I'm watching the freeze and shit. And then the way my OCD work, bro, and the way Dragon Ball work, bro, you miss a few episodes, nigga. You don't even want to watch shit no more. I'm like, I missed too much fucking story. I don't even know what the fuck going on no more, bro. So I watched I watched a little bit of Dragon Ball Z and shit. A little bit of the CL games when they was fighting Freeze and shit like that. Then what else I watched, bro? I watched, um, I tried, I, I was on some like shit like, all right, I'm gonna just watch the whole Dragon Ball, right? Cause I never seen that. I only seen Dragon Ball Z. I'm gonna see where the shit started from, right? Let me watch the whole Dragon Ball. I get like 10 or 12 episodes in, you know what I mean? Goku smacking bomb on the coochie and all this shit. I'm like, okay, this shit kind of fire. Nigga running around a dick hanging out. I'm like, oh, this shit kind of, what the fuck? Oh, they really, they really doing all type of shit on this joint. Okay, I can fuck with this, you know what I mean? Niggas getting kidnapped and shit. I'm like, all right, <laughs> I'm with it. I'm like, this shit kind of slow too, bro. It ain't slow as the Dragon Ball Z, but this shit kind of slow too, bro. So I stopped watching that. I don't know, bro. But I was fucking with it at one point, bro. I ain't gonna even lie to y'all, bro. I'm lost, y'all. I don't know how I beat this game. I really don't. How the fuck did I... How the fuck did I beat this game? Because I have no... I I streamed this whole game and still beat it. And I was talking this shit just like I'm doing right now. And I did never get turned around like this on this part. Let me see. Clearly something I'm missing. No Chick-fil-A slander gonna be tolerated in the chat, man. Fuck Chick-fil-A. Can I open this? What am I doing, y'all? For some reason, I could activate this. But I don't know why I would want to do that. Oh, is that activating the gate, I guess? This thing charges up when I shine the flashlight at it. Oh, it is activating the gate. Hey. 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 I know, though. I'm like, well, there's no enemies right here. Why would I need to activate that? That. over the place please don't see me please don't see but me. yeah don't see man me. uh dragon ball was cool bro cool little situation to watch after school or whatnot watch out that i get out of sunday i mean sunday school saturday school detention or some shit why would i go back in here i don't get it do i want to kill these dudes Oh, this motherfucker teleported. Oh, hell no. I'm about to die. My God. My God. What the fuck, yo? Anyway, all over the place. That wasn't smart. Please don't see me. Please don't see me. Please don't see me. That wasn't smart. What I just did, Chad. What? I guess that's when I was supposed to find out they could teleport when they did. Oh, I forgot I could fucking melee these joints or uh, stealth kill them. Boy, I swear I'll be bugging, boy. He gonna turn around, ain't he? Don't do that, brother. Nobody saw that. I saw that. I might need this. Oh, I definitely am. I saw that. I'm gonna get caught up fucking with him. Oh, 
What's good, Blaze? What's good, brother? Yeah, I moved the site, man. I don't think it went through yet. Go check, Blaze. Go check and see if it went through, bro. I gotta put the ski mask on there. He about to turn around. Hey, man, when I put these ski masks on the official site, man, y'all fuck with them, bro. I think y'all scared to contact me personally about the ski mask. You know what's crazy about that? I still got I still got to be the one to send them to you. <laughs> Ain't that crazy? I'm still, you still gonna get them the exact same way. My well just contact me right now. It's batteries down there and some health. Well, let me heal up. You still gonna have to contact me about the ski mask. I guess you can see all the colors and shit better on the side or something. Who knows? I don't know if they take a, if they take a, oh, I can't go back. If they take a, uh, a percentage of the, the shit on the site though, I might have to charge more for it, man. Cause, uh, <laughs> shit ain't cheap. Is that the battery right there? Shits don't be cheap for real, brothers. That ain't no fucking batteries. Yes, it is. <laughs> Shits don't be cheap for real, brothers. We'll see. We'll see. You know what this game is reminding me of now that I'm running? Dual sense support is a myth, right? So, when they say they're patching games for dual sense support, I feel like they capping, right? Because games that aren't patched with dual sense support still do dual sense shit, if that makes sense. Maybe it's just the haptic feedback is automatic in games. Like, I'm going to give you an example, right? When I was playing Hell Divers 1 and I got in a mech, the controller would like the right side of the controller would vibrate in the little hand part when I walked that way. The right side, like it was still doing like dual sense type shit without it. You know what I mean? Instead of just rumbling all together, it'll rumble one. You know what I mean? Like, so when they say they patching the game for dual sense support and they, they charge it for it, it's like, why? <laughs> Other games is just, it ain't even, it wasn't even a patch in them games. It just automatically do the shit. I don't know how the fuck is programmed to automatically do this shit. I don't know how. That's kind of weird. It didn't do that on the PS4. Not that I remember anyway. So I guess it's just, I don't fucking know. Niggas wizards. But yeah, bro. Like, why the fuck you charge me for some shit I doing for free? The fuck? Oh, the, the store is live, brother. Is it live, brother? I'm about to put some shit on it then. I'm going to put some shit on it when I get through streaming then. I'm going to work on it. Is the new Jiggy merch live? Let me see. Is the new Jiggy merch live, dog? I'm clicking it. I ain't, ain't shit coming up. Okay, some shit that way, some shit this way. Which way am I supposed to be going? I clicked it. That shit is not loading up. What is in here? What's the point of me coming in here? Oh. That's some depression shit. It's a connection timed out. My shit ain't working, Blaze. Louise. That's at the end of the street, so I might as well keep going the way I was going. Yeah, my shit ain't working. Maybe. Maybe my shit ain't working on my end. Y'all can see it? If y'all can see it, that's all that matter, bro. I ain't, I ain't, honestly, I ain't got to see the shit, to be honest. I, I just need to go in there and put some shit on there. As long, long as y'all can see it, I don't care if I ever see it. Sweet. That's just a template right now, man. Let me know what you think. That's a little, little working, a little working template, man. Let me know how I look. What, what, what should I change? That shit trash. I take all criticism, positive or negative, bro. <clears throat> just know I will respond rec accordingly, though. Just know that, okay? <laughs> There's that between, uh, what, what, what you call it? There's that between, like, you know, regular criticism, like constructive criticism, you just being a dickhead, you know what I mean? I feel like people don't realize that. That's where a lot of disconnect coming from. Instead of somebody giving you 
you know they're trying to give you a little critical thinking of, you know they, they are dickhead instead they just want to be rude like you know what i mean that's why i react the way i do this shit if somebody came to me like jack moon you know you doing this i don't really i'm not really feeling that i'm feeling you Wait, entitled to that? I'm coming. People just don't know how to approach people, bro. That's really the main Come thing, on. bro. Just my luck. The battery is missing. Something took it. Something slimy. If I follow this trail, it will probably lead me to the battery. But I hope I don't find whatever left this ooze. Ugh. I really need the battery, though. I don't want to run into that fiery muscle head again. Oh, I'm glad I ain't have my computer pulled up. I just pulled up a crazy picture. What the hell? I forgot that that was in the DM. What the fuck? That picture's crazy. There's no way it'll move without a battery. Don't I got plenty of batteries in my job? It's a... What it say? It say, brother, I got a Steam Deck and building a PC with a five thousand car drop. I'ma drop thirty five hundred on a PC. Fuck that, nigga. Send me that. Hey, Kiso, think about it like this, Kiso. A ladder right you can send me that thirty five hundred, and I stream any game you want for about six months, bro. That doesn't make sense. You do the math, my nigga. Send me that thirty five hundred. You got Jack move on retainer, man. I'm streaming any game you want, brother. Six months. Let's get it. It looks like there was an earthquake, but... I'm not a mathematician, but that's like money well spent, my brother. That ain't no picture. They threw that right there to make it look like a picture. That ain't no picture. I heard you like feet pics. I don't fuck with feet pics like that, bro. I was telling my sisters that the other day. I'm like, I ain't no... I'm not no feet pic, nigga, bro. Like, yeah, man. Now, you take a picture of your asshole. I might... <laughs> I might got something for you. Take a picture of that asshole, my nigga. I ain't gonna hold you. Yeah. Now, why I just say that? See, is that something wrong with me? I got kids watching, man. My bad, children. If you watching, man, don't listen to no shit like that, bro. My apologies. Flash device. This strange thing fits in the flashlight like a glove. How about that? Okay. I surround the whole square. Oh, shit. I don't even remember this in the original game. Oh, I ain't got it no more. I ain't got the square attack no more. No. Hey, she fast as shit, though. Oh, they sending Boo Boo after me. I need some batteries. I wish it joint just refilled on its own. What the fuck is that? So attack on Titan on this bitch? Make sure I ain't look missing nothing over here. Nope. Three saying OKC okay, degrees is 2.0. You see, they want to be us, bro. OKC okay, Thunder, bro. First of all, I'm gonna say this, right? Or that I used to. I can't even. I ain't got no beef with the Thunder, bro. I ain't got no beef. I like Shea Gilgis Alexander. I like Chet Holmgren. You know what I mean? Jalen Williams, J Dub, or whatnot. I ain't got no beef with them dudes, but they want they they gonna make me go there though. They gonna make me go there. They are. Now I'm gonna give y'all some history. You know where it stemmed from? Was that last season? That might have been last season. Was that last season or the season before last? Either way. <coughs> if you don't remember, right? The Grizzlies was dealing with injuries back then, too. We had some people out, but the Grizzlies ended up beating the OKC Thunder by the largest margin in NBA history, okay? I can't make this shit up. Let me, let me search, and I'm going to tell you exactly what was going on. What's the largest... 
margin of victory, right? In NBA history, okay? In 2021, the Grizzlies set a new NBA record for the largest margin of victory in history of the 12 players who played in the game by Memphis. Nine of them scored in double digits. They were also able to shoot an outstanding 62.5% from the field and 52.8% from the arc. Now the Grizzlies beat the Thunder by 79 points, okay? We scored 152 to 73, okay? I can't make this shit up, bro. So ever since then, it's been a little, it's been a little drama brewing. Okay, it's been a little drama brewing. So now they doing the thing where they dance and they all happy. They the new young, young up and coming team. You know what I mean? They, they, they doing the gang interviews at the end of the game. They, they trying to say they did that. Shit. That's us. That's us. Okay. Now we just played them another the night. They had a fully healthy team. Everybody there, and they beat. Desmond Bain. Desmond Bain ain't played since September. No, he had to play since January the 12th. Desmond Bain and, and Jaron Jackson Jr. coming back from injury. They beat them by by. They beat us by six points. You know what I mean? A fully healthy team. They beat us by six points. You know, both coming off injury. So, we won't smoke. They trying to say Shea Gill just leapfrog Jai. He better than Jai. We gonna see. We gonna see what all they talk about next season though. It's cute right now. The shit cute right now when they up. You know what I mean? Looks like there's a bunch of wires on the second floor. The battery's gotta be up. When they leave, I'll be talking again. You know what I mean? They got it for right now. They the new up and coming team. When they get humbled in the playoffs, I'll be there. I'll be there. They try to say the same shit about about Halliburton. Oh, Halliburton better than Ja. Oh, word? We gonna see. We gonna see. Now they saying he had a he had a free trial on a superstar. <laughs> they say he was testing it out. He had a two-week free trial on being a superstar. That's what they saying about Halliburton now. Same person they trying to put over 12. What are we doing? Halliburton ain't never won a playoff series. Shea Gill just ain't never won a playoff series. Ja has. <laughs> Shea Gill just ain't never put up 47 points in a playoff game. Halliburton ain't never put up 47 points in a playoff game. Ja has numerous times. I think he got three. <laughs> he got three games of scoring at least 47 in a playoff game. I think that's correct. Wait, I ain't got to do too much talking, bro. Don't ever try to play my mans like that. Fuck wrong with them. First, you had The Rock saying you a disappointment like John ja Moran waving a gun. Then you got this shit. They gon' stop playing with 12, all right? No R. Kelly, nigga. They gon' stop playing with 12. I'm on their ass. I ride for my mans. They bucket. Now I do. F I fuck with Halliburton too. I fuck with Halliburton. I, f I fuck with all the young guards, man. Deer and Fox. But they, ain't that. It's, it is what it is. Matter of fact, out of all the young guards I just mentioned, I would say De'Aaron Fox probably when they when it's head to head competition, he played he played against Ja the the best actually. Which is crazy because we do play the Kings tonight or we play the Kings next. But yeah. I Ja, every time Ja play uh, fucking Halliburton, I remember Ja doing them niggas dirty. And every time we play SGA, I don't even think Ja and SGA didn't played against each other that much, honestly. Because every time we play either one of them, it's hurt. But um, I remember he doing them niggas dirty too. So now Fox, I don't really feel like Ja Fox a good matchup. I ain't gonna lie. Fox be giving Ja that work a lot of times when they play against each other. I ain't gonna see. I, I keep it a hundred. But the mother two niggas, get the fuck out of here. And I said this last season, right? I said, you know that light the beam shit and all that? I said, watch what happened next year. People gonna start turning on Sacramento. They gonna start saying they arrogant. They, they gonna stop giving them their respect. It's gonna be a new young up and coming team, right? Niggas don't fuck with, <clears throat> niggas don't fuck with Sacramento like that no more, bro. Bro, how did, how did De'Aaron Fox and Sabonis not make the All-Star game, bro? Have you seen the numbers Sabonis is putting up, bro? What? That nigga like a walking triple-double, like, for real. Like, this motherfucker getting 20-something rebounds, fucking 20, 30-something points. 10, 12 assists. Like, bro, the man numbers is fucking crazy, bro. And they win it. How the fuck neither one of them was in All-Star consideration? What? 
Get the fuck out of here, bro. Niggas hating on the Kings now. Niggas, niggas stop fucking with the Kings when they lost to Steph in them. I told y'all what was gonna happen, man. I knew the shit was gonna happen, bro. It's always that new young up and coming team niggas can get behind and love, right? You gotta remember, nigg niggas loved the fucking Warriors at first till they started. You know, the Warriors was America's team when they won their first race. After that, nigga, we ain't wanna see that ass no more. Same shit with the Grizzlies. The Grizzlies, the Grizzlies was all lovable when them niggas were huck a bucket and winning fucking 56 games a year. Now we got a little turmoil and that people act like they don't know us no more. You know what I mean? Now people act like they don't know us no more. That's how it go, bro. That's how it go. So this is what's gonna happen to the this is what's gonna happen to the Thunder, right? They're gonna run into a veteran team in the playoffs. They're gonna run into a Warriors, a Lakers. Uh, you know, they're gonna run into a veteran team, a veteran laden team. And they're going to play them close in the playoffs. They're probably going to end up losing, right? Because they don't have that. Um, They just ain't got it in them, bro. They're going to pull the Grizzlies, bro. We had, we had the shit going, bro. We ran into the fucking Lakers, and they, they fucked us over, bro. It is what it is. They're going to run into one of these fucking veteran uh, laden teams, and they're going to get fucked over. And then niggas ain't going to be rocking with them no more. Then they're going to move to the next one. Who the next up-and-coming team? The next up and coming lovable young group of fucking rep stallions or whatever the fuck you want to call them. Them niggas. Them gonna be the niggas there. Yeah, man. I thought when you got Saran, you could hold square and get out of it. Oh, that shit barely worked, my man. Oh, Lord. Wow. Jesus. But yeah. It, this will come in here. They love you. They, what's that shit? They love you till you're doing better than them. That's real shit, bro. A lot of people, bro. A lot of people will fuck with you. People will fuck with you when you down, bro. But when you up, nigga, they don't want nothing to do with you. Matter of fact, they're going to do everything to, they're going to do everything to bring you back down, bro. Everybody love a loser, my nigga. Like, for real. Like, that lovable loser shit. You ain't never heard a nigga say, hey, I root for the underdog. I'm like that. I root for the underdog. But once the underdog become the top dog, nigga, it ain't fun to root for him no more. You got to get him the fuck out of here. You see what I'm saying? Niggas cool until they popping, for real. That's what every aspect of life. Damn, who was I watching when they said, damn, I forgot who it was. That might have been Mike Epps. When he was like, you know what I mean? His homie stopped fucking with him when he got popular, bro. He said all the time his homies would fuck with him when he was when he was rich and famous is when he was sad and depressed, bro. When he sad, depressed, and on drugs. That's all the time his homies started fucking with him again. Misery loves company, bro. That's it. Misery loves company and Nick. If a nigga ain't doing nothing in life, if, if you ain't got no motion, bro, you don't want to be around nobody with no motion, bro, unless you a hanger on, unless you a leech. You want to be around like-minded people. So if you ain't, if you ain't got, if you ain't shit, you want to be around some motherfuckers that ain't shit too, so y'all can be not shit together. You see what I'm saying? Imagine your, your man's become famous and you, you mad about that. Like, boy, what the fuck wrong with you? Okay. I think... I get it. What's the other shit I heard? Oh, you ain't never, you ain't gonna never meet a hater that's doing better than you. That's a fact too. <laughs> like I'm a proud hater, right? I love hating on people, but I don't hate on nobody that's doing worse than me. That's damn true for true. <laughs> the niggas I hate on are famous and rich. My nigga, are fucking mad bitches like this. I'm not hating on a nigga that ain't got no motion. <laughs> I never hate on a nigga. I got more money than I'm funnier than I'm like no nigga no what. How you gonna hate it on a nigga that's that's lame as fuck? Like what the hell? You know how crazy they make you look? What's going on, Neil brother? Neil brother, how you doing, brother?
flee the arcade. But yeah, they fuck with you till you start doing better than them. That's a damn sure. Oh, I gotta run out this door right here. Hold on, before I leave, let me make sure there ain't no collectibles in here. I guess it's not since you gotta flee this. Oh lord. Can I restart our checkpoint? I'm fucked off. I ain't know how this was going on. Hey man, this is this is called uh, guilt, man. Guilt. This game is called guilt, bro. Good game. Look it up. G Y L T. I think that's how you pronounce it. I mean, spell it. I wouldn't have ran out into that light if I would have known it was gonna do that. I forgot. I haven't played this in a while. Jesus. Can I make it? Can I make it? Can I make it? Can I make it? Oh shit. Oh, that was close. Okay. I don't think it's on me. I know. I just I have this. to get out of here. I can do this. Uh. What are we doing, Chet? Man, I need that, bro. Can I go past? I can't go this way. Fuck. Oh, is that. Am I going through that right there? I don't even remember. Avery, A has just donated $4.99 through Super Chat. WrestleMania will be in Memphis in 2027. Fuck. If you're still breathing, would you go? Uh, I don't know, man. Is it going to be in Memphis in 2027? I'm surprised Memphis hasn't gotten to WrestleMania yet, man. Memphis and wrestling are very intertwined, man. Um... Matter of fact, Grizzly just had a wrestling night on Saturday. They just had a wrestling night. But uh, if you know anything about wrestling, you will know it's very, very, very in tune with Memphis, bro. Like a lot of wrestlers get their start in Memphis. Like Memphis was like a territory at one point. It's mainly because of Jerry Lawler, though. You know, Jerry Lawler plugged in with WWE. He had his own territory down here type shit. Like a lot of wrestlers got they started here, like the Undertaker, the Rock, Kurt Angle, fucking. It's a lot. Vessel used to be down here all the fucking time. Our Truth used to wrestle here every fucking week. Matter of fact, that nigga Shelton Benjamin stole his gimmick from a nigga down here, bro. I forgot dude's name. Little sassy nigga he used to have blonde hair and a little tight ass shorts. Shelton Benjamin took his whole gimmick from Buddy. I think they might have used to wrestle together too. That shit was crazy. Grandmaster Sexay. You know he died in prison, bro. They were trying to say he killed himself, but, but Jerry Lawler was saying he didn't kill himself, bro. Yeah, he died in prison. I can't remember if he was hung or what. Yeah, but Brian Christopher died in prison down here, bro. That was crazy. Well, not prison, but jail. He was like locked up in jail. Fucking died, bro. He was trying to say somebody killed him, bro. That was crazy. But y'all surprised Memphis ain't had no WrestleMania. But the only thing about Memphis, bro, this is the reason Memphis don't get a lot of a lot of events. It ain't because of the crime. It's because the way Memphis is made, bro, we don't have enough hotels, bro. We don't have the accommodations. That's why we didn't ever get the All-Star game. Matter of fact, we didn't have the accommodations before. They just made the all-star game restrictions even, uh, they made it even more strict to how to get it, bro. So we never get, we don't got the, we don't got the convention. We got a convention center, but it ain't the right size. We don't got the right size convention center. We don't have enough hotels at all. And we don't have enough international flights. We just not getting the international flight to Paris. 
It's from the start. I think this year. I didn't even see that. Fuck, I just picked up. Can you not see me already? King Quizo has just donated $5 through Super Chat. Red Peg in home base trying to say PS4 gen better than PS2 general. Lod, where did we go wrong with today's youth? You know Red Peg a little stupid, bro. Y'all know my son a little special, bro. Y'all know my son a little stupid, dog. Turn the battery to the truck. You know, it's almost like Emily's being used as bait. For me, there's nobody else in the whole town. Just monsters waiting for me on every corner. You know Maybe what, I'm bro? Freaking out. Because I feel like this is a huge prank designed to mess with me. If I'm being objective, I gotta say PS3 was the best PlayStation generation. And the reason I go PS3 is because uh it's either ps2 or ps3 for me right but i gotta go ps3 just because want me on tv blinded by oh, like dvd niggas can't see me they make me get want to be me neil has just donated four dollars and 99 cents through super chat continental wrestling association was the territory in memphis they cycled a lot of guys back before wrestling became nationwide yeah you see that right but yeah man if i if i if i'm being uh you know I gotta go PS3 just because it's more modernized. Like, online gaming, trophies, you know, HD graphics. It's too dangerous to go back. But, um, I would say overall the best generation in gaming was PS3. From an overall standpoint. Now, if you said PS2, I'm not mad at that. And that can definitely be argument be made. I wouldn't even say PS1 because I... PS1 was cool, but I actually played, well, I ain't gonna say I played more games on the N64. I mean, it's still the same generation, but like PlayStation was cool back then. It didn't have the best wrestling games. I think N64 had the best wrestling games, but they had shit like GTA 1, School's GTA 2 type shit. Fence. Am I supposed to be going this way? Because there's some shit over yonder too. Actually, I can't even go the other way. I gotta go this way. Looking at the map for no reason. I, I've beaten Kingdom Hearts before, brother. You know, I, you, hey, uh, Road Runner, you know I beat Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 already, brother. You know that, right? Or are you one of the people, one of them, uh, what they call them, stupid? But yeah, you know I beat them games already, already right? Good, brother. You do know that, right? How the fuck do I turn this off? I don't know how to turn this off. It's a manhole cover I gotta go through? Show sure is. Where a manhole cover at? Trying to get rich as to go. Damn, I really want smoke. RIP fucking, um, my guy, bro. Big Scar, bro. The Grim Reaper, bro. He was next up out of Memphis, bro. It's, uh, I'm so Sad that man passed away, bro. He oh he overdosed though. That shit was crazy. I remember the day the day Big Scar died, bro. It was like in December, bro. The day he died, it started snowing in the city, bro. And Big Scar nickname is Frozone, right? His nickname is Frozone, and it starts snowing the day he died. And his ops got online and said, "Oh, uh, it's snowing because Frozone died or some shit." He said. That shit was crying like, oh, that's mad disrespectful, bro. Some shit like that. He like, yeah, it starts snowing because Frozone died. That was his opposite, that shit. I was like, what? These dudes is bugging. Hey, man, all fair and love and war, though, right? I can't get mad at it. If you into it with a motherfucker and you say that, I can't. You know what I mean? I fuck with Big Scar. I can't get mad at the shit. I wasn't into it. You know what I mean? <sighs> Niggas be beefing for real, bro. How the fuck do I get it to that? 
PS1 had the most fun I had with PlayStation. My favorite gen was 360 gen. Favorite console 360. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I think the P the 360 fucking PS3 gen was definitely the best in gaming overall. We were still getting we were still getting games that they were taking chances on, right? We were still getting established IPs. We was getting a lot of IPs that are fucking untouchable now as far as like uh criticism originated during the 360 generation. I right, here you go right here. Last of Us fucking I mean, you know, God of War 3 is PS2 gen. I remember, bro. I remember when God of War 2, God of War 2 came out when the PS3 was already out, bro. I was stuck on the PS2 like, fuck a PS3, dog. They ain't got God of War 2, nigga. Fuck that. They just go to show you how much they actually cared about having, uh, you know, different fucking experiences on the consoles, bro. They could have easily put God of War 2 on PS3, but they ain't do it. They did it two years later, but they could have did it at launch, my nigga. They ain't do it though. Imagine if they did that these days. Like, nah, we gon' we gonna leave this on the fucking. That back when they believed in generations. Is there anything down here I need? Oh, I don't have a map. I remember the first time I played 360, bro, at my cousin house, well, my grandma's house. They had the Fight Night Round 3, bro. Oh my God, bro. My fucking mind was blown, bro. I was like, dog, these graphics are then at the little, the little break and shit. You doing the cuts and shit. I'm like, dog, this is fucking next level, bro. I'm like, I gotta get this shit. I don't even know. Was Fight Night Round 3 on fucking PlayStation? I don't even know, bro. It might've been. Bro, I was so mind blown by that game, bro. Cause I ain't played round two. I I pre-ordered and played round one a lot, and I I told y'all this. I traded in Fight Night Round One because my thumbs was fucking wrong from playing the game so much, bro. I don't know what how I was playing that motherfucker. Like my hands was literally like fucking in pain from playing that game so much, bro. I had to trade that bitch in just cause of that, bro. I don't know. I don't know. I, I was playing that motherfucker. I was I was gripping that motherfucker like. Like a, uh, what did Tony said on this song, bro? Gripping the pole tight. But yeah, bro, I had to trade that bitch in, so I never played round two. Round three, though, bro? Fire. Oh, my God. Fire, bro. I was like, I gotta get a, I gotta get a 360 just to play the round three again. This shit heat. I barely played. What's your head, Muhammad Ali? Not Muhammad Ali. Was he on the cover? It was one of them niggas on the cover. I ain't really too much fuck with that one. I tried to play it a little bit. I wasn't fucking with that one. I don't know why. I don't know. Damn sure wasn't Mike Tyson on the cover of that bitch, was it? It was somebody. I don't remember, dog. I ain't fuck with that one, though. No. Y'all remember Knockout Kings? Y'all remember that shit? I used to play that. But yeah, man. What is batteries back there? <gasps> what? You get a man for the load. My clients are good. I ain't posting in front of the store. Fuck that, fuck that, fuck that, fuck that, fuck that. Yeah, I think Knockout keeps on on like Nintendo and shit. I used to play that. Bro, I used to play the, see, this is how you know I'm old, bro. I used to play the UFC games on Dreamcast. Do y'all remember when UFC games used to be on Dreamcast back in the day, bro? Long ass time ago. I ain't even know shit about UFC back then. 
I just like to play the games. What did I say? We see you. Leave us alone. Get lost. What is that thing? Why does it look like me? But yeah, bro. Good old days, brother. Good old days, brother. Emily, are you there? Reading at night. No, I don't want to keep piling. This shit keep piling on. Blandrew has just donated $5 through Super Chat. Hello, good brother Jackmu. Hope all is well on your end. Yes, sir. Appreciate that, Blandrew. Yes, sir. I'm doing all right, man. Dealing with a little fucker, but I'll be all right. Hey, RIP to JD Youngin, too, man. That's an Bruh, another dude that died too young, bro. Another dude that died too young, man. These rappers, man. These new age rappers be dying so fucking quick. That's another person, man. The boy had haters, bro. He had haters. He had ops, bro. That man got assassinated. That shit crazy. It's this way. Little red pig looking thing. It was one fight night. It had like... I don't think I need to go all the way up here, do I? What going on up here? I want to say it was fight night the fourth joint. Was they still called round such and such back then? It's another strange book. My grandpa. I need to read some of these shits. Right, it's like a little hidden area. Was she hiding here all this time? This like some Coraline like. I recently saw Coraline maybe about four months ago. I had never seen that movie before. I ain't gonna lie, took a took a direction I didn't expect. I'm like, she okay, I didn't I didn't expect this movie to play out like this. It's a it's a decent movie. It was cool, you know what I mean? Joint kinda crazy though. Yeah, yeah, round four, yeah. I'm talking about round four then. I've only played Fight Night 1. That's the one I played the most. And round 3. Them days was broke when she flow. <laughs> Ain't, Ain't doing, doing no more. more. Yeah. Miles has just donated $4.99 through Super Chat. Trapping out the apartments till they cal the marshals. What oath the Jiggy Ninja had them alphabet boys in his apartment. Emily? Big Scar was narrating Jack Life. You see that, right? That boy froze on, man. Damn, bro. The new 1017 fell off so bad, bro. I still fuck with 1017, bro. They had Big Scar, Fujiano, Pooh Shiesty. Come on, dog. That, that lineup is crazy. Fujiano got five years in jail. Matter of fact, he got arrested here. He was supposed to have been on probation in Memphis. I mean, in Atlanta somewhere. You got arrested here being stupid. Quanzie M has just donated two Canadian dollars through Super Chat. What's a crazy thing that only happens in Memphis? Oh man, a crazy thing that only happens in Memphis. Um, we have a lot of police shootings. Like, not even. I mean, I don't know if they happen nowhere else. I ain't talking about like police shooting people. I mean, like the citizens shooting the fucking police. Like, matter of fact, we had two police shootings in one day last week. We had two police shootings in one day last week. We had three separate triple shootings in one day last week. Just a lot of just a lot of unchecked mental illness, I say. I would say more than usual. I think every area got unchecked mental illness, but it's really fucking bad here, bro. Like, matter of fact, is that people crash out for no reason because they ain't got nothing to lose, bro? Down, matter of fact, two people got killed in downtown Memphis last night. That's a fucking tourist area, right? One dude, they say he was fighting with his friend, and I guess he hit him too hard. Dude, head bounced off the pavement. He accidentally killed his friend he was arguing with. One dude, he was, it was a guy with a drink at the club. Another dude knocked the drink out of his hand. I don't know if it was on purpose, on accident, but as soon as the dude knocked the drink out of his hand, he just, he just hauled off, started swinging on buddy, right? 
<laughs> that nigga up the pistol killed his ass instantly. Like, <laughs> nigga, this ain't that. So I would just say a lot of unchecked mental illness, really. That's the worst thing about the city. But something that only happens, I don't know, man. I feel like Memphis is actually pretty normal, though. If you if you know where to go and you ain't in no drama, no fuckery, you'll have a good time here, bro. It's really not a bad situation. I like it, bro. You just got to know who to hang around and who not to hang around, right? If somebody keep up some fuckery, man, you know to stay away from them. If somebody always in the mix with some bullshit, you got to stay away from them. That's it. Where's another eyeball at? What is this? It looks like this rock reacts to light. And the rock react to light. I don't know, though. What? I'm trying to think. That's a good question. What happens here that don't usually happen everywhere? That is a really good question, actually. I'm trying to think of something positive. <laughs> I'm trying to think of something positive, man. I like that question, though. Can I not? Oh no. Can I not squeeze between this? How the fuck do I get over there? I wouldn't even say Memphis the Wild West. Memphis got a bad rap, dog. That's all. Yeah. Memphis got a bad rap, brother. We really great for real. Am I supposed to even be getting over there? I guess not. <laughs> Oh, nothing else in here. It's some batteries at the end of the hall and some health. I guess I can't use those right now. Ah, the door right there. Is this where I'm supposed to be going? Fuck the tip of my finger itching for. Uh, I don't know if this one's supposed to be going. Matter of fact, I ain't gonna go in here yet. A socket, no, ain't a socket. Uh, I can't find her. Is somebody in here? Batteries. The fuck is that? What? Huh? What happened? <laughs> I could barely see in here. What just happened? I ain't talking about socket. No, I ain't talking about. Uh, there's nothing in here, bro. What is locked? How the fuck I get out of here? Oh, I see. It's another strange book. Uh, it's locked from the other side. Can I get out of here? How the fuck do I get out this room now? The niggas be bro trying to voice their opinion. Bro, bro how the fuck? Seize J08 has just donated two dollars through Super Chat. Are there any baddies in Memphis? Yeah, of course. I say so. Yeah. What the fuck? I say so, man. The only thing about that, bro, you just gotta find something that ain't stuck up. Like it's a lot of stuck up bitches in Memphis too. That's the that's the main issue. But, uh, no, nah, it's definitely some beautiful women here, bro. Absolutely, bro. You just got to find something that's sane and ain't stuck up that's, you know, ain't trying to set you up, too. That's another thing, bro. It's a lot of setup, bro. Like, I, I can't fuck with it, bro. People always trying to act that. People always have to get you, bro. Like, Memphis is just a shicey city, for real, for real, bro. Everybody always trying to get over on somebody. They trying to finesse the next person. Get what get what you got, get in your position type shit. It's just a lot of like you think you are invisible. That's why that's why I'm so paranoid, bro. That's why I'm so paranoid. I don't ever be trusting nobody, bro. It's just I guess it's the way I grew up where I grew up, bro. Like 
Trusting people don't do nothing to get you hurt here, bro. Matter of fact, the person, the person that killed my homie and his wife was his homie. They was cool. That's what's crazy about the shit. Bro, my homie got killed to some, that nigga had on some flip flops, my nigga in the kitchen chilling. Like, he was comfortable around that person. That's why he let him in the house to begin with. He knew this dude, bro. That's the shit that killed me the most, bro. He knew that I ain't know the dude because I stopped, I stopped coming around the hood, bro. I think my, my homie might have known, but I stopped coming around because, matter of fact, the reason I stopped coming around because they started hanging out with all these off brand niggas that I ain't know. So I'm like, nah, I'm good, bro. And my car had fucked up, but even on top of that, like, they start hanging out with people I didn't know. So I'm like, I'm not hanging out with them, bro. <laughs> what? If I don't feel comfortable in a situation, bro, I can't do it. That's it. And my other homie was telling them, like, bro, you be hanging out with mad random niggas now, bro. You wasn't always like that, bro. What are you doing, bro? And look what happened. You know what I mean? So I'm always hesitant to trust somebody. That might that might be an issue in the, in the long run, but hell, it is what it is, bro. No I see what happened when you trust the random people. <laughs> it don't end positively. Hey, it wasn't why you would meet somebody that's cool, you know what I mean? But everybody ain't for you, dog. You know what I mean? Everybody don't really want to see you win for real. They might just want what you got, or they, or they might just want to inflict. Emily? Damage to you for no fucking reason whatsoever. You might not even never did nothing to them. They just might like seeing niggas in oh, in no. pain, my nigga. Like shit. Hear me? Motherfuckers kill for fun down here, bro. They don't put no thought into it. I can see if a uh, you know somebody threatening your life, your family life, your livelihood. They trying to rob you or some shit. Yeah, you might fuck around. You know they trying to carjack you or something. Yeah, you shoot one of them niggas. Hey, it is what it is. They should have been doing it, right? These motherfuckers be killing innocent people, randomly shooting in the crowds, like somebody look at you wrong way you shoot. Like what the fuck? What is wrong with y'all niggas, bro? You ain't got no type of rhyme or reasoning behind the shit you doing, bro. I can't commend that, brother. I can see if it was some real, like, you know what I mean? I can see if it was some real like okay damn okay that's why they did okay that kind of makes sense i probably would have did the same shit you know what i mean like these niggas be crashing out for no reason just to say they didn't did some shit now you in jail for the rest of your life looking like a fucking idiot or you didn't go to jail but now the whole that person whole family on your ass now you got to watch your back there where you go now you just don't go everywhere you go you know man you's a weird nigga simple you to ruin your whole situation because you want to look cool and shit. I don't know, Doc. What's good, Bay Ram? Mr. Bay Ram plays, brother. Am I pronouncing it right? What's good, brother? Yeah, I don't know a lot. A lot of matter of fact, most people, if not everybody, I know that has been robbed recently. They got robbed by somebody they knew. <laughs> like, they didn't get robbed by a random person. They getting robbed by niggas they knew, bro. Like, the people that's robbing them is really like, was they home? Matter of fact, I know a guy right now. I told y'all the story before. Dude, I know named Laron. He got, uh, he, he's paralyzed now. He's paralyzed from, from getting shot by somebody. I know, I know both of them people involved too. Dude named Devin Knowles. Devin was cool. Devin was a little crazy at school. Matter of fact, Emily? Devin was my nigga. I ain't gonna lie. Me and Devin was cool. That was the homie. That nigga's crazy. That nigga's crazy. Vice Lord nigga, bro. Bro, he used to, matter of fact, I told you he used to shake up with me. I'm like, bro, I'm not, I'm not in your gang, brother. Like, I'm knowing the handshake shit. I'm cool with a lot of Vice Lord niggas. I'm knowing the handshake shit. I see this nigga, he's shaking up. Though. I'm like, yo, my brother, I'm not even in that, bro. Like, I told him, like, I'm like, bro, you know I'm not in. <coughs> I'm not gang for real, my nigga. You know I'm not in that, right? Like, just trying to make sure, brother, because I ain't. But yeah, this nigga was crazy. I remember one time. I'm going to tell you about this nigga Devin, bro. 
Kwan ZM has just donated two Canadian dollars through Super Chat. How are the underground comedians in your city? I only know one underground comedian. Oh, what is his name? Ron? His name Ron something, bro. Oh, I told a story about that too. If you, I got a video on my channel. I sat front row at a comedy show or whatever. Go watch that video. I talk about the underground comedians in my uh, city, bro. He work at this place called Chuckles Comedy Club and shit. I seen him perform like twice. I didn't even realize I had seen him before, but uh, what's your story about that? Last time I went, I sat in the front row, bro. I was not trying to sit in the front row, bro. I'm sitting front and center in the front row, bro, right? So he get up there telling jokes, bro. I ain't one of them, you know, ha ha key key laughing, slapping my knee ass niggas, right? So if the shit, if the shit not funny, it's just not funny, bro. I'm sorry, like. So I'm chilling. I'm just chilling. You know what I mean? He telling jokes. I'm like, yeah, this shit. Ain't, it ain't hidden for real, right? He's like, it's cool, but I'm not finna laugh, my nigga. It ain't fun. So he get through one joke. You know, niggas is laughing at this shit though. He get tired of me eventually. He like, he's like, bro, you just came to frown all night, my nigga. Like, you just, you too tough to laugh, my nigga. Like, what's going on, right? So I start laughing at this shit because he called me out. Like, oh, like, all right, bro, you got it, bro. My bad, bro. Then he was, some, it was some other shit that, but yeah, he, I'm like, oh man, why I'm in the front row, bro? I'm finna get roasted, bro. Then the main nigga came out, started addressing me. I'm like, oh god damn it, bro. It wasn't that bad though. I thought they were gonna cook my motherfucker there. Then I ain't had no haircut neither, bro. I thought I'm finna get fucking roasted and toasted, bro. I'm like, oh my god, please no, bro. Nah, they was cool though. They was cool. It was a pleasant experience. But uh, what was I saying? Oh, this nigga Devin, right? So this nigga Devin used to work at the Burger King. My homies used to work up at the Burger King. So I'm, I'm there, you know, a lot of times and shit. And then back when Burger King was actually pretty hidden still. So I pull up to the Burger King. This nigga Devin is me, my homie Justin. And I think we either took somebody to work or we was just up there cooling. I see Devin in the lobby. He got his work uniform on there. I'm like, what's up, Devin, bro? What's going on, brother? You know what I mean? We greet him and shit. The other nigga I'm with Justin. I don't even know if he wasn't cool with Justin or he barely knew Justin. We sitting down, Justin like, hey Devin, what's up, bro? This nigga Devin say, oh, he was like, nothing, just this. Right? I look over, bro. When I tell you, when I, when I tell you this nigga is pointing the biggest fucking handgun I have, I have ever seen in my goddamn life at this nigga Justin, bro. I'm like, I ain't even say nothing. My nigga, my nigga, I didn't say nothing. I'm just looking like, huh? Bro, it was uncalled for. I'm like, bro, the nigga is at work with his uniform on in the lobby, my nigga. He pull out the biggest fucking gun I've seen in my life, nigga. I'm like, is he finna? I'm just thinking, like, is he finna shoot this nigga? Like, what the fuck happened? What do he say to piss him off? Bruh. I'm in that hole froze, man. I ain't moved nothing. I'm just looking like, oh, yeah, yeah, that shit crazy. He put that motherfucker up, but I'm like, bro, what? And you know what's crazy about it? He used to drive the fucking, uh, the truck for his church and shit. I think that nigga used to drive the choir van. But anyway. So the dude, I know they got paralyzed. He was cool with Devin, right? He's cool with Devin. They homies. Devin come over his house one day. They cooling. They chilling type oh, shit. So he at the dude's house. I think the dude go up. Uh, his name Leron. Leron go to use the restroom, right? Devin in the crib. Leron go use the restroom. You know what I mean? It's Leron's house. Leron come back from the restroom. All the lights are off, right? All the lights are off in Leron's house. He like, what the fuck? Bruh, he just started getting shot. Pop, 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 pop. Nigga, Devin shoot, I think Devin shot this man seven times, bro. Mind you, they homies. He shot this man seven times, robbed him, and then left him in the house to die. He barricaded him in the house to die, bro. He didn't die, but he is paralyzed for the rest of his life behind this shit. And Devin eventually got caught and went to fucking jail for it. I mean, it was a fucked up situation. A real fucked up situation. They just go to show you, man, even though you might be cool with somebody, bro, you might trust somebody, bro. It ain't that, bro. Hold on, should I go the other way first? Fuck. God damn it. I need to... Ch What's the other way before I go this? This just constantly turned on, right? But yeah, bro. You can look him up, Devin Knowles, bro. 
You still in jail? I ain't never had no problems with Devin like that. Like, we was cool and shit, but I seen how he acted towards other people. That's why I knew not to, you know what I mean? You got to keep them type people at arm's length, you know what I mean? We was cool, but I seen how he reacted to other niggas. So when I heard shit, like, yeah, you know he pulled a gun out and shot old buddy seven. I'm not even really shot. Like, part of me, like, damn, what? Then other part of me, like, yeah, that, yeah, that sound about right. <laughs> I know how that nigga get down. He was on, he was on fuck shit when I knew him, type shit. What was that? Um, sweet. It was a crawl space. It's a canary over there. How do I, what do I do with a canary? Let me see. It's a collectible over there, y'all. Mean something. But yeah, man, it's just a sad situation, Dag. <laughs> sad fucking situation, man. Don't know who to trust, bro. Can I not do anything in these crawl spaces besides hide? Must gonna be an enemy over here, so. Yeah, three will kill. Leron three will kill. Yeah, yeah, that's his name. Singing ass nigga too. He he do hair and shit. He do hair. He sing. Leron was my nigga though. He cool. He's one of them. Hello. He one of them type nigga. But you know that's my guy. Okay, don't do that. Now nah, Leron cool as hell though. That why it was really fucked up because I know Leron and I know he cool. Like he wouldn't harm a fly. You know what I mean? He the type of motherfucker, if you really need something, I'm pretty sure if you ask him, he got you type shit. You know what I mean? Especially if you just homie. You know what I mean? If I was cool with Leron like that, if I needed something, I'd just ask him, bro. I wouldn't I wouldn't try to kill the man, bro. That was fucked up. Uh, what I about to say? Damn, what was I about to say? Oh, I got a story about Leron, right? So... It really ain't no story. It's about my homie G, bro. My homie G, bro. I know G. G being the G still being the matter of fact. I didn't know G for so long, bro. His kids watch my stream, bro. His kids are old enough to watch my stream and leave coherent comments, my nigga. That's how long I've been knowing G. But yeah, my homie G, bro. I mean, we in we in the physical science in ninth grade and shit, right? Now at this point, I didn't know G for like maybe three years. You know what I mean? Only thing I know about G, he cool, you know what I mean? Chill. We like to joke and shit, chill, kick it. But I ain't never, he mild mannered as fuck, you know what I mean? He real laid back type shit. Bro, I remember one day something happened in the physical science class, bro, and then I think G did something. I guess he felt kind of embarrassed by it, bro. Bro, this nigga Leron made a joke, bro. I don't know why Leron made that joke, bro. This nigga G went fucking crazy. He like, don't be laughing at me, nigga. I was like, what the fuck? Bro, he really like flipped it because Leron a small dude too, bro. Leron like fucking four foot five, like five foot at the most, my nigga. Like, he a little ass dude, petite little nigga, right? This nigga G went fucking, he like, don't be laughing at me, nigga. Mind you, bro, this is a like... <laughs> We take physical science like the first period of the day, my nigga. So, oh shit, what the fuck? We take physical science like the first period of the day, my nigga. I ain't even got the energy for this shit, my nigga. I'm like, yo, this nigga G going, I'm talking about he was going crazy to the point he had to be restrained by the teachers, my nigga. I had never seen him act like that at that point, right? I ain't gonna lie, I'm laughing at the shit. Like, I don't wanna laugh because I ain't trying to piss nobody out. I'm laughing at the shit, I'm like, this nigga G crazy. That's how I knew he was really cool for it. I'm like, all right, that nigga crazy, I'm crazy. That's why we get along. It all, it's all starting to make sense for real, for real. I'm like, okay, this nigga act like me for real. I just didn't know it, all right. <clears throat> Crisis averted. But yeah, that shit was crazy. Good old days, man. Good old days, brother. What's up, Jack Moo? What happened to 12 minutes? Did you already beat the game? What game is this? I'll let you know, man.
Red Peg just subscribed. Oh, What's wrong, Big Daddy? Why you mad and agitated, Big Daddy? Long story, Red Peg. You're gonna have to you gonna have to run it back, baby. Run the stream back, baby. Um, no, this is not 12 minutes. No, I did not beat 12 minutes. Uh long story short with 12 minutes. Never played 12 minutes, thought it'd be a cool stream idea. You know, a couple of people asked me to play it, take off E Rock. I'm like, fuck it. They the homies, you know what I mean? I like I like uh giving the people what they want usually i try to at least maybe uh how do i get in that square right there it's one square right there but uh yeah some some dickhead spoiled the game bro i don't even want to play this shit no more bro and somebody was saying you know you shouldn't let that ruin you as multiple endings but i feel like even if it got multiple endings i feel like certain shit about the story is still gonna remain the same right so that main story is probably still gonna always be that same what is that block right there, yo? I don't know. I don't fucking know. So I don't even want to really want to play this shit no more, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Even if I do play it, it ain't gonna be on stream. Niggas ain't gonna do no more spoil the game. Oh, you can't go. Niggas was backseat game. I don't mind backseat game. Like a game like 12 minutes, bro. I want to try to at least solve it on my own, bro. But if I'm stuck for like 10 fucking minutes or some shit, yeah, eventually I'm gonna be like, all right, bro, what the fuck I do right here, bro? Or, or I might be like, can I do this? Can I not do it? But I don't want you to narrate the whole fucking, what's the point of me playing if you're gonna narrate the whole game of what to do, bro? Like, what? So niggas was backseat game, and I asked people not to backseat game, and they was backseat game. And it, it's impossible almost not to read the shit, you know what I mean? Even if you don't want to. So I'm like, all right, these niggas going federal, bro. Oh, it was just a bad situation, bro. Clearly, didn't nobody. It was somebody. It was somebody somewhere that didn't want me streaming the shit. Clearly, right? Do I need to throw another situation at this? That is what it is. It's crazy because that kind of threw off my stream. I was gonna stream at least twice last week, if not more than that, to beat the game. But it's like I don't need a. I don't need a lot of motivation not to want to stream, but shit, that's all I needed, bro. It's like now nah, I don't want to stream at all this week, type shit. Cause I ain't feel like starting a new game. I just started a new game. Starting a new game is a commitment, y'all. I don't know if y'all know that or not, bro. Starting a new game is a real fucking commitment that I do not be feeling like doing a lot of time. That's why I've been just replaying Callisto Protocol. Oh, speaking of Callisto Protocol, bro, I thought I was gonna have to beat the the DLC twice. The new DLC difficulty twice to get the trophies, bro. I think I might got to beat that game at least three times to get all the uh, upgrades. I'm not doing that, bro. That's not even all the DLC. That's just one mode. Like, what? They crazy? Holy shit, he saw me. But yeah, I'm not doing that, bro. Didn't I already go this way? Oh, it's a fucking. I'll take this. So, what exactly? I must have got a key. Thought I had the key. Didn't I just go everywhere? Bro, what? Such a shame. What's such a shame, brother? Let me know something. I know the key ain't out here nowhere, is it? I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I'm kind of hungry, dog. I just got hungry. Just got hungry, dog. I ain't been this way. I don't think I have. This will come in handy. Any collectibles that I'm missing? I know I'll be missing collectibles like crazy. What the fuck is that box down there? Could I not get that way? I guess I couldn't get that way. Quanziam has just donated two Canadian dollars through Super Chat. 
You should hit up Lou Ratchet and be in a skit. Oh, that'd be lit, bro. I'd love to be like in a skit, bro. Like a Drewski skit, bro. Lou Ratchet, fucking, uh, who else? What dude name? Zay Boogie? What's his name? It ain't Zay Boogie. What the fuck is it? The New York nigga. V Boogie. V Boogie. I love to be in one of their skits, bro. That should be fire. I'm like the funniest dudes on the internet right now. Hell, I, you know what? I even take a Daisy Bank skit. Fuck it. Let me be in a Daisy Bank skit. I, I do that. Granted, that motherfucker might not be hitting on nothing, but I, I tried. Fuck it. I'll try my best. If I do a skit, I gotta be, I got all Trey Rags. Hell yeah. I'm trying to be the knockoff Trey Rags, man. I'm gonna be like an evil, evil twin or some shit. That might hit different. I think the streets would be fucking with that. Yeah, how many times I heard this shit, bro? You look like Trey Rags, bro. You look like... No, he looks like me, all right? I'm older than him. He looks like me. He's just more famous. Trey Rags is just Jack Moo, but Jack Moo took the right decisions in life. That's all that is, bro. I don't, I don't want to hear that, bro. Poop head. What the fuck? If Jack Moo was younger and more successful, nigga, and, and, and cooler, nigga, I'd be Trey Rags. It's simple, you know what I mean? Let's really talk about it. I give respect where it's due. What the fuck? Where the key at, bro? Guess I ain't been over here yet. Spicy one wings. I probably, you know what, bro? I couldn't be famous, bro. I'm too, I'm too, I'm too shy to be famous, bro. I know it don't seem like it. I, I'm a, I'm a real shy person, bro. I'm not. The way I act on, I do act the way I act on stream in person, but I gotta know you, you know what I mean? If I'm just now meeting you for the first time, I'm not gonna act the way I act on stream. Absolutely not. I'm a very reserved person. But if I like know you, I'm cool with you, I built up a rapport with you, yeah, I'm doing all the wild shit, you know what I mean? I might crack some jokes, but I ain't, I ain't hopping off the porch. You would think I'm real laid back if you ever met me in person. A lot of people that meet me, they just know I'm real laid back or they think I'm like, mean they think i'm mean they think i'm shy they think i'm like sad because the, the way my i just got like a sad looking face i don't know fucking know why i'll I be looking sad and shit but i don't even be sad for i just be cooling bro but yeah if you knew me in person you'd be like what the fuck I did it. but if you knew me or like you went to school with me you'd be like oh yeah that, that motherfucker crazy like it's he gonna he gonna say some wild shit like that's just what he do type shit But yeah, around people, I don't know, man. Mad normal, dog. Matter of fact, one of my school teachers, bro, I remember I had this school teacher in ninth grade. Was I ninth grade? Was that ninth grade? That might've been 10th grade. Anyway, I was taking keyboard in class, right? I was taking keyboard class, but I'm mad, like reserved. I'm like the, I'm like chilling, bro. I ain't saying too much. I'm just in there trying to get my school learning done, bro. The next year, she taught me a different class, bro. But at this point, nigga, like, I ain't really caring about what the class is, nigga. I'm in that hole making jokes, talking crazy to people. She like, John, I never would have thought you act that way. I'm like, man. <laughs> oh, like, I just didn't show you the, the, the fucked up part of me last year. That's all that was, man. I'm in that hole roasting niggas, talking crazy. She was like, what the fuck wrong? <laughs> she damn near didn't think that was the same person, bro. I might need this. I'm like, yeah, I'm really a piece of shit for real. I should have told you. Man, me and I say, money. Hey, RIP FBG Duck Tavaris too, man. Tavares Perry has just donated four dollars and ninety nine cents through Super Chat. BG Trippin, you don't have to play these new games this year. Catch up on your backlog. Self-improvement 2024. Hey, you spin right now. Why BG be hating on me, bro? Aww. 
Oh, this need to be Quan right here, has just donated two Canadian dollars through Super Chat. I'm not moving. TRA Rags wore the wig and you kept your integrity. Mmm. Think so? I fucks with Trey Rags. Trey Rags funny as shit. I like Long Beach Grip. Long Beach Grip feel weird though, but he funny too though. Long Beach Griffin, one of them red pill, like, low-key, I hate women ass niggas. I don't know, bro. He be going too far with that shit. And they say he like a creep and shit. I don't know. He funny, though. He's a, fun he's a funny nigga. Don't get it twisted. I feel like he's funny. But he one of them niggas that got popping, but he, he was like a weird nigga in everyday life. How the fuck? I can't move this one. I forgot how I did this puzzle before. I do not remember how I did this chat. Do I even need the joint that's right? What do I need that for? What's this in the, on the wall? Oh. So. Oh, I forgot how I did this puzzle, god damn it. I put it right here. Nah. My depth perception all fucked up. I got to be in. Oh, it's another joint right there. What the hell is that? Oh, it's three. Oh, I, I see. That's one. I need to put this in the back. Oh, I need to hit that. Okay, I see. I need to hit this. I just need to be in this corner. Grab it. What the hell? There we go. So then if I hit... How can I do all three at once, though? Sees J08 has just donated two dollars for super dude. chat. Can you be real on who the best white rapper? Best white rapper, Paul Wall. What's wrong with that? Paul Wall ain't the best white rapper. Sh shitting me. Paul Wall, nasty, bro. Eminem had a historic fall off, man. We just gotta be honest, bro. I used to fuck with him. Nice. Eminem got four class, well, three. I'll say three classic albums. Hell, I even give him four, man. After that, I ain't trying to hear that shit, bro. Ah. Like, I feel like Paul Wall come out with some music right now. I still give it a listen. Eminem, I might be like, hey, turn that shit off, bro. Like, respectfully. I say it respectfully. Turn that shit off. <laughs> Are y'all checking for new Eminem music in 2024, bro? 2024! Are y'all checking for new Eminem music in 2024? Come on, bro. Ain't nobody checking for that shit, bro. Respectfully. What is this? Back door action? Pause. This lead to all that. Batteries. Oh, I can't. What's. I ain't never been in this room right here. No, 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 no. Behind me. Over there. Is that where the classroom at? There ain't no door in here. A ladder that lead to that. Uh, what is that door I've never been into? Okay. Where's another eyeball at? Oh, 
I ain't another eyeball. But yeah, man, I'm cool, bro. We ain't gonna act like he ain't fall off, though. We gotta have that. We gotta have that conversation. Emily, are you there? The fuck is this? They say leave us alone. It's another strange book. Don't fight. Oh, you got a free souls? What we doing? Ticket frame. It looks like a piece of a cable car ticket, but it's worn. Okay, so we freeing souls now. I never really listened to Mac Miller like this, so I don't. I don't know. I never really got a chance to listen to his music. You know what I be thinking about, bro? It's so much like media and just shit overall that we never see, like. Anytime I watch like a true crime documentary and it's talking about something that's like it made worldwide news and it was viral and I'll be looking like, bro, I have never seen anything about this. It's like it took the world by storm and it's got millions. Of when the fuck did I be like, when the fuck did this shit happen? I have never seen anything about this. It'd be so weird to me, like all the like rap, just, not even rap, just music artists I've never listened to, but people like they popping movies and TV shows. It be shit on like his fourth and fifth season. He be like, bro, I don't know nobody that watched this shit. How the fuck this shit got six seasons? Hey, it's just it's just weird, bro. It be shit like really going on for real. It's like I, you be feeling like you missing out, but at the same time you don't give a fuck. It's like I ain't know Mike Epps had a show that's been on Netflix for like four fucking years now. I'm like, bro, I ain't never seen. It. I think I might have heard of it. I ain't never seen that shit before. I'm like, this shit successful? What the hell? Y'all be feeling weird like that? Like it's just mad shit you ain't never seen before, bro? Hmm. I probably should've left that right there. Uh, let me see. Oh, I got into that little room right there. Good shit. I don't know when, but I got in there. Map throwing me off. So I need to go up top. I need to go in here. Yeah, it'd be mad. Should I be like, what the fuck? Or oh, you ever seen like a movie or a TV show? You'd be like, who the fuck did they make this for? Is it people actually watching this shit, bro? You be trying to imagine niggas like sitting down and taking their time to watch the bullshit. I like, guess no way in here niggas sitting down watching this shit, bro. But then again, it definitely is because people people locked in with Tubi. Tubi got some of the worst fucking content you could watch. My sister be acting like, did you watch this? It's on Tubi. Bitch, did I watch some on Tubi? Fuck no, what? <laughs> we pay for cable, bitch. Fuck, I'm watching some on Tubi for. Yeah, you gotta check this Tubi show out. It's really good. It's funny. Like, no, I, I don't, but... Well, my sister, they... It's one thing my sister gonna do. They gonna get me into some nigga shit, boy. If it one thing they gonna do, you would think I'm the one. They good for that. I'm like, y'all really sitting up here watching this shit on ironically, man? Yeah, it's funny. No, no, it's, no, it's not. <laughs> it's fuckery. Y'all love fuckery. That's all it is. Niggas watching Tubi Originals like they really just popping for real. Like. I like watching like little. I used to watch like black exploitation films and shit like that growing up though. Them shit was funny. I think the funniest one was Cornbread Earl and Me. It's gotta be, bro. Cornbread Earl and Me was fucking crazy, bro. When the police, the police shot the old buddy and then they, uh, the police was sitting in the car and they threw the fucking brick through the car and the glass went to the dude's face, bro. Oh my god, nigga. I laughed many a days and nights off that fucking scene, bro. He's like, ah! <laughs> At that fucking glass, this way. Oh, nigga, that shouldn't be funny. That might be the that might be the funniest movie like that, bro. I don't know. It was another one. I can't think of the name of. It. What's the one where old buddy beat his wife to death at the end? He beat his wife to death at the end, and then was it straight out of Brooklyn? Is that the name of it? That ain't even black exploitation. That's just like a hood type movie. 
he beat his wife to death at the end and then like um they clap his stupid ass that shit was crazy that move was pretty funny it wasn't funny the situation wasn't funny it's just the way they was acting like the acting was so horrible they made the shit funny there was some more movies i used to watch me and my sister man we used to watch a lot of them shits bro we used to run them bitches back. We, we'd watch them hoes every time they come on, laughing at the mother like we ain't never seen them. They was really stupid for real, though. I ain't gonna lie to you. Just pure fuckery. I do, I do, I do enjoy my, my share of fuckery, man. Don't get it twisted. Definitely indulging in some fuckery if I get a chance, you know? One of the valves is missing. Now I need a fucking valve, bro. I feel like this one of them games, if you turn it off in the middle of playing, you never know what the fuck you're supposed to do when you cut, turn it back on. Like, you just be lost or mad time. I think that's what happened the first time I played this game. I turned that bitch off. Next day I came back, I was like, bro, I have... Is that the valve right there? Definitely is. Oh, that bitch outside of my eye. I can't even see for real. I saw that. This. Oh, I can't crawl under there. The niggas be bro trying to voice their pain. Seas J08 has just donated two dollars through super chat. Ever consider subscribing to a man's OnlyFans? Hell yeah! Why not? Look, you gotta think of it like this, bro. Sweet. You gotta think about it like this, brother. A woman only fan, even if you fuck with the chick, right? She's just gonna be fucking other dudes. So you gonna see that same bitch get piped out by multiple men. As opposed to a dude, he gonna be fucking different women. Hell yeah, absolutely. What the fuck? Matter of fact, if I'm subscribed to only fan, I'm probably subscribed to a dude over a woman anyway. They fucking multiple women. Why wouldn't I subscribe to the dude? Hey, 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 Shelly, hey, Shelly. Keep that on the low. Hey, Shelly, you. Hey, Shelly, you no ball, huh, brother? Okay, hold on. Shelly, Shelly outside for real. Okay. I see why you watch my content now, my guy. Hey, hey, we keep that. Hey, keep that on the low. We keep that on the low. But yeah, I'm. Nigga. Hell yeah, I'm subscribed to a nigga before I subscribe to a chick. Just get more content for your money. Respect. I say that respectfully. I say that respectfully. Shout out to Avery Jane, by the way. Did y'all subscribe to Avery Jane website after I told y'all about it, bro? I found that. That joint won nineteen dollars, bro. Mad video. I said, damn. Shell, that hoe going crazy, nigga. I said, God damn. I, mm. Best nineteen dollars I spent, nigga. Yes, sir. What the fuck going on? Oh, hell no. What, bruh? I tried to sell up to the Asian girl and she blocked you. Oh, she hating. She hating. I don't, fuck, I don't really fuck with OnlyFans like that, though. You know why I stopped fucking with OnlyFans, bro? First of all, if you subscribe to OnlyFans, you don't know if they got that shit behind the paywall, right? Some people... They put that shit behind the paywall. Let me tell you what they do on OnlyFans, bro, right? This is why I don't fuck with OnlyFans, bro. Quanziam has just donated five Canadian dollars through Super Chat. Steam is beta testing family sharing. You can share games with five other users. Another reason to wait for PC ports. Gangbang these PlayStation games. I thought they already had that. I guess it was just between one person. Let me tell you why I don't fuck with OnlyFans, right? So, <laughs> if you go to somebody OnlyFans page, right? If they got out, of, if they got, if they got out a lot of posts, like say they got twelve posts on their shit, right? Some people have it to where you can't even read they post unless you subscribe to them, right? So you gotta subscribe to them to even know if they have full length videos on their shit. Then. You don't know if the full length videos can be viewed with just a regular subscription or you gotta buy all those videos piecemeal. You don't even know. So that shit can have like two, three paywalls before you even get to the shit. On top of that, right? See, this this how I, I'm really in the trenches for real. 
OnlyFans got DRM now, bro. So even if you go on OnlyFans and buy somebody content, you can't download and keep the fucking video that you paid for. What? Fuck that. They got me fucked up. Hell no. I'm re I'm really in the trip. I'm really in the trenches for real, bro. Now, I'm gonna say this. If they got full length videos on their shit, one subscription price, if it's reasonable, you can download the shit if you want to. Yeah, I'll fuck with you, you know what I mean? I believe in supporting content you like. I always tell people that. I don't believe, I don't believe in stealing, you know, pirating shit, bro. I've got to leave if, you, to the if you want to buy the shit, buy it, you know what I mean? I ain't got no problem with that. I, I, I support people that buy the content they like, bro, for real. Niggas in business at the end of the day. I don't ever knock nobody hustle. If anything, I'm gonna support what they got going on if I fuck with them. How the fuck you leave the stick in the water? How am I supposed to get him to walk in this water, bro? He clearly not interested. That's what I'm saying, bro. How you gonna charge me DRM for some shit? Like, bro, think about it like this, though. You only hurting the niggas that's buying your fucking top tip. It's only DRM for niggas that's actually got access to the shit, right? So you only locking out niggas that's actually willing to support you financially. That don't make no sense. It ain't hurting the niggas that's gonna steal it anyway. Cause niggas, niggas will find a workaround and they still will steal your shit. So the only person you really hurt was the niggas that's actually trying to support you for it. You know what I'm saying? That ain't, that ain't smart you ask me. Okay, I wasted that. I don't know how I'm supposed to... How did I beat this last time? You gotta blind them. Holy, you gotta blind them, chat. But yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't subscribe to that, that fuckery. when i got that i ain't like pirate and shit i don't know i used to pirate like games not games but well computer games if it was a game on pc like a roller coaster tycoon or some shit like that i mean if it was a pirated copy i play that motherfucker i ain't give a fuck movies tv shows i don't know when i got that in my mind that i, I ain't like that piracy shit bro i don't know i guess now since like i got money that i can buy shit freely if i want it it's just like, fuck it, why not buy the shit? I guess. But even still, even back then, I was still buying like, I told y'all bro, when I used to get paid bro, when I had my jobs when I was younger bro, every time I got paid, I'm only buying three things bro. I'm buying some, either I'm buying some clothes, or I'm going to Best Buy and buying whatever the fuck I want at the Best Buy of Circuit City, but I'm buying a movie, TV show, fucking music. I used to buy my music, bro. Yeah, I used to bootleg that shit too because I used to sell it and shit, but I was bootlegging like mixtapes and shit. I wasn't really, it'd be rare nigga actually to bootleg an album back then. Most people are bootlegging mixtapes, like, and they, they, they didn't even sell mix. Some niggas did sell their mixtapes, but. Yeah, I ain't really too big on the bootleg and shit, man. I, I probably used to be, though. I ain't gonna lie. I don't even bootleg. Bro, the only way I'm bootlegging a computer program, bro, it's got to be so egregiously priced to the point where I can't afford the shit or I don't feel like it's worth that much. That's the only way I'm bootlegging a computer program. I'm usually paying for them shit, too. I pay for all that bullshit. Now, granted, I might feel like a fucking idiot at the end of the day, but hell, I, I, I did. I gotta get him to run over this. Yeah, I definitely used to make a sale bootleg to these, yeah. But then again, that would benefit me though. I, I don't really. <laughs> the money I was making off bootleg and shit, I go and buy the real album. Like I'm, I'm that type Emily nigga. I used to do shit like that. She must be at the auditorium. Now the niggas I sold it to ain't buying no fucking real album. But yeah, I don't. If it's like some like 
Yeah, I don't. I don't pirate fucking porn. That's weird to me too. Most of the time you watch some amateur shit anyway. You can't even. Only way you pirate the amateur porn is if it's some 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 overpriced OnlyFans shit. At that point, them niggas they asking to get robbed. Most of that shit is free anyway. You ain't got to steal that shit. I need a valve for right here. Oh no, I don't. What the fuck? How the fuck do I get in here? Bootleg some solid cast merch. Now you're talking. Now you're fucking talking. You hear me? Now you're fucking talking. You know how I heard Blaze was? You know, Blaze be guilt tripping niggas into supporting them too. I like that shit. <laughs> Blaze do it better than me though, bro. I used to try to guilt trip niggas into supporting me. That shit didn't work, but Blaze be like, he be like, Jack, you know what, brother? Huh? Uh, you know, I haven't seen you in my chat for a while, Jack. Uh, would it hurt you to donate a fucking two dollars, Jack? Would it fucking hurt you? Come on, man. You can't even buy a fucking burger with two dollars. You, you send me two dollars? I'm like, damn, Blaze, right? I can't get a fucking burger for two dollars. Maybe I should just send them all my fucking money and support them all the way. And then I think about, it, I'm like, I don't even fuck with Blaze like that. Nah, I, I, I changed my mind. But yeah, he does a good job. He'd be like, you ain't got no membership. The membership only $3. What you gonna do with $3 besides give it to me? It's like, damn, this nigga make a great point. That's crazy. He makes a solid point. No pun intended. Do I not got the key for that back room back there? Or the teacher's lounge? How the fuck do I get in the back room right now? Hell yeah, he be guilt tripping people into support. Hell yeah. He good at that shit too. One way door. So if it's a one way door, I can't get in there, right? Oh, I can't. So it's like he needed. I don't know how to fuck. Guess I gotta come back to get in there. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. So I can't get in there. There, it's no collectibles on the map. It's got to be a way I can get to that door, yo. I hope I don't miss my opportunity. He also sucks off rev any chance he gets. Now, I don't know nothing about all that, brother. <clears throat> Blaze is my man at the end of the day. Let's let's put that out there. Blaze is my guy, okay? Y'all know when I first met Blaze. Y'all know why I met Blaze, at, bro? I met Blaze in a lobby. I got invited to a Last of Us Remastered lobby. Uh, they was playing private matches and shit. That's the first time I met Blaze. I think it named like Blaze Piff eighty eight. was in the auditorium. Oh, I hope she's still there. We cool and we kicking it. You know what I mean? Just random people from the community and shit. We kicking it, playing the game. He was like, you know what? The first one, of the first thing Blaze ever said to me. Blaze always been the same nigga, bro. He was like, he was like, hey yo Jack, you need a PSN gift card, bro. He's like, my girl work at GameStop. You need a PSN gift card. I'm like, shit, if you got one, fuck it. Why not? Blaze always been the same nigga, bro. He he been the same way ever since I know him, bro. That shit funny. I'm like, I don't even know this nigga he offered me a PSN gift card. Okay, I fuck with it. That's like when I first met Blaze. Shit, we been cool ever since then, though. Uh, where the fuck? Main building gym. This a big ass school, bro. I think once I hit another checkpoint, I might turn this game on off, dog, for the day. No blaze slander. Absolutely not. Oh, I didn't even know that was right there. Good shit. Yeah, man. You remember back when you could meet motherfuckers on the game randomly? Hey, what's a call that might bring that back though? Hell Divers 2 might have a little feeling back though. I have certain people that's on my friends that's hop in the lobby if they see me in there. I don't, I don't mind this shit. As long as I got space in the lobby, I ain't tripping. I don't ever mind running the game with nobody. Uh. Only problem is I got like 1,700 month. Not 1,700. Yeah, 1,700. Yeah. I got like 1,700 motherfuckers on my friends list, though. That's the only... That might be the only problem, but... It's still a canary right here. I oh, it's right there. I wonder 
if there are more of these. I don't think I ever did a Canary collectible when I first played this. I didn't utilize the map like this. Now Blaze might got, oh Lord. Blaze the number one Dundo. Or the number one dumb hoe, depending on who you ask, but I'll say the number one Dundo, you know? Whoa, baby. Boy threw some boo-boo butter at me, didn't he? That's crazy. That way. How would I open this? It's a ladder right there. I don't remember getting on the roof of the school in this game. Hope there's a battery somewhere over here for you, boy. It's not a bad game. That's a nice little relaxing, chill game to play, bro. It ain't too difficult, you know what I mean? I really don't remember you being able to kill enemies in this game. I'm glad about that. Because if you couldn't, this joint would be annoying. I ain't going to lie to you. Blood quarter. Oh, of course, radar. That's how the look cage. Okay. Radar shines on nearby. Oh, it do the little illumination. Okay. I don't think I ever had that. Did I have it? Yes, sir. I'm trying to get this platinum in one run, brother. This a door right. Is that a door? What the fuck? I don't know. I'm about to get lost in this maze. I'm going to be hitting up PayPal again, man. Seeing how I can get some shit taken care of, bro. By the time I get off the stream, they're going to be closed. people yeah I definitely didn't do all this first time I played uh, fuck if I can get the platinum in this game in one run though that'd be that'd be love right there I doubt it but oh uh, okay so there's some shit yonder, but I can't get in there yet, right? Because the shit on the wall, yeah. Then there's some shit. I gotta go up over. What'd it say? Definitely gonna cop looks for Yeah, this is, this is a good game, bro. It's not a bad game. Got a, got a decent enough story, you know. Nothing too crazy. Is this all right? Is it not working against the fire dude or what? What the fuck? Oh. Maybe I gotta... That's what I'm supposed to be going, correct? No, it's not. How do I... Let's see here. Locked from the other side. Okay. I can't fuck with old buddy yet. Maybe because I ain't got no battery, or is it I can't fuck with him? There's another enemy out here. Fuck. What? Oh, he see me, huh? How? Let me go to the checkpoint before I fuck around and die. Parking, that's where I came from, I think. How many trophies? I'll look at it in a second. I don't think it's that many. Remind me to look at it if I forget. Matter of fact, this is a good stopping point anyway. 
Damn, I've been streaming for three hours. What the fuck? I did not realize it's seven o'clock. What the fuck? Bro, I did not realize I've been streaming that long, bro. Damn. I guess this shit auto save. It ain't no save spot. It say you gonna say <laughs> you going this far to say your younger sister or you gonna hit her with it is what it is. Nah, I'm definitely trying to say my younger sister, bro. Hell yeah. Some of my older sisters, they might be assed out. I ain't gonna hold you. But yeah, this is guilt, alright? It had a better picture at first. It ain't got the picture no more. Where the fuck the picture go? I don't know. But yeah, this is guilt, man. Good fucking game. 30 trophies. I got more trophies than I thought it did. Quick little, quick little 30. You know what I mean? Hit an enemy with a can? Hoop a can. Ah, I might need to start doing that. In the game without killing anybody. They tripping. Hold on. I got a fucking phone call. God damn it. Mic off. Mic on. All right, we back. Damn, in the game without killing anyone. I gotta run this shit back, bro. Damn it, man. Well, guess it's not a one playthrough platinum, guys. That's gonna be hard to do without beating anybody. That's gonna be hard to do, man. Um, but yeah, that's it, man. I appreciate y'all for watching and whatnot. Uh, I might stream this again depending on how I'm feeling. You know, just a little chill stream, ain't nothing crazy. Anyway, man, this was your boy Whack Move, and uh, I'm signing out, all right? Peace.